This episode of Strange Love brought to you by Treasure Licious. Good evening. This is Strange Love, and I'm your host, Cami Chaos. Welcome, babies. Hi, I'm your host, Cami Chaos. Welcome to another edition of Strange Love. This evening, I'm joined by my co-host and husband and producer and button pusher, Dr. Normal. After Hours Edition. After Hours Edition. And our wonderful guest, Nate Angel, with the unpronounceable Twitter name. Oh, look. See? You guys all know how to spell that now, don't you? Yes. Um, How do you spell it? On Twitter, again. I'm X-O-L-O-T-L. And you want lots of followers. Holotl. Yeah, I've only got, you know, 300, so. You need more. Bring them on. And now, in case anyone wants to know where they can find more than, how many many characters is Twitter? 140 characters. Oh, jeez, you had to ask? Where's your blog? You have a blog. Where is it located? Uh, my blog is uh, conveniently located at holotl.org. That's X-O-L-O-T-L dot O-R-G. Very nice. So, yeah, I'm trying to develop a completely consistent online brand identity with an unpronounceable name. Very good. So it's a little bit like when Prince moved to that character that nobody could pronounce or print. Or print. The mm-hmm. New York Times about yeah. how to fit with that. They're yeah. Like, we don't the have artist, this in our font. The artist formerly known as... Yeah. Mr. Artist, formerly known as. And not only did they not have it in their font, but he copy, he put copyright on it, <laughs> so too. They so they couldn't, so they couldn't even couldn't print, print it, it, man. I guess he didn't want any press. That yeah. was beautiful. Yeah. And then they had to talk about that. Yeah. See, that's what I love. I actually have a whole theory on, you know, <clears throat> keeping privacy in today's media sphere, too. We can Ooh. talk about that. We can talk about that. I think first there's something that's pressing on there's my a, mind. Is there a burning, a burning question? There's a burning question. <laughs> there's definitely... There's probably it's a not point. Even, it's there, not there's even definitely a, question. a burning sensation it's somewhere. It's not even a question as much as it is a word. Do I cue the wrong And then I want to hear everyone's reaction to the word plurk. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to ask about the wolves. No, no. I want to talk about plurk first. She's, but she's plurk to. obsessed. <laughs> and it's not like I love plurk and I'm obsessed. Like, I love Twitter. I'm obsessed with Twitter. Right. Twitter's great. I completely conned one of my really good friends into getting on Twitter by telling her how useful it could be. It is useful. It, it is useful. How can you even argue with that? It's so useful, it's Holly. Useful? Holly, it's very useful. It's been useful to me. I said it's very useful if, say, she wanted to have her own podcast and she wanted to be able to get guests or publicize her podcast, she could do so on Twitter. Oh, Twitter. I thought you were talking about Plur. No. <laughs> no, I'm saying how much Plur. I love Twitter. We're, we're doing even a though, compare and contrast. Even though Twitter okay. crashes and that makes me really cranky and mad, I'm mad because they've taken something away from me that I love. Yes. Oh, you know what? It's much like spousal abuse. In, <laughs> I think I have a music cue way? for this section. <laughs> I don't know. Taking something away you love, you know, you have this love-hate relationship. It's a fine line between pleasure and pain. No. Okay. Maybe I, sadomasochism. I, how is that any different? Spousal abuse versus oh. because if you're sadomasochistic or you're masochistic or you're sadistic, you in theory would go into it with a willing partner, whereas I spousal see. abuse is is abuse. I see. So it's spousal abuse is like accidental sadomasochism. There you go. Right, right. Yay! So flirt. I think I have a no. I have a music cue <laughs> for your McLaughlin Group roundtable for this. Okay, go ahead. Our Plark roundtable. Plurk, plark, plurk, plurk, plurk. Let's get it right. Issue one. Oh wait, he's he wants to. He he hasn't gotten to cue music all night. It's the. We uh, just have to let he him. He cued like two things already. It and doesn't count because they're intros. It, yeah, it doesn't count. Oh. Jeez, man. Is it too loud. <laughs> You're so deaf. You've been a drummer for too long. What? That was the wrong cue. Okay, I'm just gonna put it back here. I'm gonna only have one ear on in case. Oh, wait, you can only... Oh, there you go. It's the wrong cue. We had we had it for the super news. I'm sorry. I had a nice little, like, okay. newsy intro. Dr. Normal, so tonight, the debate... Former husband and producer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll keep him as a producer, you know. Yeah. But, uh... 
Exactly. Yeah, no more no more mistakes. Was that sadomasochism? <laughs> no more mistakes. <laughs> hey, no more mistakes, okay? <laughs> I've had my boss say, hey, oh, see, come on. Were I, you a willing partner for that music? I was not. That was, that was spousal ear abuse. All right, so, Plurk, the debate, Plurk or Twitter? Issue, Issue one. one. <laughs> Plurk hey, versus that, that Twitter. That toughened me a little bit, too. I'm sorry. Well, what, I mean, can't we all just get along? What about Plurter? No. Or Plurk? I, why don't you tell them all your big issue with Plurk? Well, I have a couple. But oh, you have issues with Plurk? <laughs> Funny you <Really>? should ask. <laughs> Golly. It's interesting. I mean, I, I try out everything, you know. I'm a little bit of a I've slut I've noticed that, way. that about you. As a matter of fact, the whole reason Is I logged into the Oh, now you're going to blame me? Was you. Me? Because like, well, he's like... The oh, whole so reason that you oh, did I'm, what? I'm your bellwether? Well, You'll follow you me wherever? You Bram, right? It's yeah. like, hey, well, look Bra- at this, guys. Come on, check it out. Oh, so the, re- I, so I the never... fact that I went over there has nothing to do with the Look, fact? it's a bridge. Let's jump. <laughs> Let's go. Come on. We're Come all on, lemmings. normal. Okay. I, 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 I think, and we can look back at my, my Twitter um, my Twitter feed to see, but I don't think I ever actively promoted going to Plurk. I, I might have said that I was on there. But I Which did. is de facto <laughs> okay. promoting Promotion. that you're going that but, everyone should but go to Plurk. I did not say anything like, "Come on, everyone, let's look, go to Plurk." Look, <laughs> is over on Plurk. Let's all join him. Hey, I got that no- that back off the mic. That noise was reasonable. I was saying his name. Okay. Yeah. No, we understood. <laughs> Great got drinks, by the way. Yes, Thank they're you. delicious. Oh. Got my How are we ever going to talk about Plurk when I'm doing my and drink music? I don't know if the video audience can see, but um, they have quite a collection of tiki mugs here at uh, Studio Strange Love. I'm using one that is like House three, s- the House of Strange Love, sorry. Mm-hmm. Three stacked skulls held together by a root. And that's a special one because it um, was misglazed. So it's it's even more limited. It was a mist glaze. The glaze was originally supposed to be a little different. Is it a collector's item? Probably. Should I be careful with it? I shouldn't have told you because now you're going to break it. It's jinxed. <laughs> um, oh. And we have the Tiki Bar TV special edition shot glass. That No one's allowed to use that, though. That's right. Because only like Actual 22 of them were made. Tiki Bar TV shot glass. Yeah. That, and that will be your the legacy that you can leave to your daughter mm-hmm. when you're gone. I'm going to be exactly. so proud of that. Here, we all baby. died of cirrhosis of the liver. Tiki bar TV <laughs> shot glass. Dad mom died of cirrhosis of the liver, and all I got was this stinking <laughs> tiki mug. However, on eBay, it's worth $23,000. <laughs> <laughs> we're all eating pineapple now. Mm, hey, pineapple. I just want to say something. Don P, Don P. Yes, Plurk does have a delete account Yes. in the setting. Well, actually, isn't Don B. Don B. working on a direct IRC to Plurk interface? Uh, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Why? Hope, What's the point? I hope he reacts to that, too. I'd like I to just, see the reaction. I just have to say, this is something that's sad. Miss Burroughs does keep getting kicked out, and she has, I think, quit trying to uh, talk in the chat room because she is now just instant messaging me. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, and apparently I should murder you and whip you more. Why? Because she gets kicked out? No, it has nothing to do with that. Tell her that she her username has too many too characters. Check Twitter. Oh, I, I don't have to tell her because she'll hear that in a moment. She can hear. She just can't be in the chat room for some reason. I thought she might have been deafened by that music. It's possible. That was yeah. actually the. Uh, Maybe it wasn't as the loud. Drink in the drink music. Room. That was the drink music. No, the, the drink music wasn't too loud. I was referring oh. to the. Uh, yeah, that the was loud. Okay. Clerk. Latest Twitter. Aaron Hockley. What's fog bugs? What? What is this? What? Fog bugs. Fog bugs. It's ringing a bell. Oh, see, now it starts. It's just like clerk. It's Friday <laughs> now we night. Have to go. Yeah, somebody's got to go on. You know. I'm gonna ask fog him. Fog bugs. Me too. I swear I've heard of that before from a long time ago. I don't think it's a new thing. I'm asking. We're gonna ask. We need to know. Strange love and the strange love audience and everyone sitting in this room. <laughs> this is the investigative journalist part of it is. Strange Love. Oh, yeah. This is like Frontline, my friend. <laughs> we have to That's know. That's why I need that special music. We have questions. <laughs> and you need so, the mic with the So, no, the, seriously, while we're waiting while we're waiting for Aaron to tell us. Oh, I'm supposed to. I'm holding my breath. <laughs> you better hold your breath because Miss Burroughs actually wants me to plurter you. To water me? Plurter. Plurter. Plurk. Plurk. Murder. 
Plurk Plurter. murder me. Plurter. I'm hoping <laughs> that just means to kill you on Plurk. Oh, okay. Do I have to have like a bone sticking out of my neck? Oh, how clever. <laughs> okay, so. I changed my uh, Plurk icon or whatever you would call it to mm-hmm. an animal Plurk-con. that doesn't look as dead. Yeah. I'm I think get... it even has a face. Wow. Which is radical. See, I I couldn't understand it well enough to even understand that I could change your, your my dead plurk-con. animal. Plurk-con. Plurk-con. <laughs> Yeah, mine is still the dog. Are we still on this? We've never even covered it. It's freaking stupid. I okay. hate Plurk. Okay, so, so here's Like, the, how does this make any sense? Well, you know, my big problem it's is Ajax. the timeline goes to the left. It's not supposed to make sense. Look at this. If you haven't seen Plurk yet, I know that you can really get a great image off my laptop screen. Yeah. I'm sure you know you what's can. cool about it, though? It's it's the first application in wide use that's entirely built in JavaScript. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Including the database layer. Yeah. And the operating system of all the servers that it runs on. So you think it's scalable? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> you can really shrink JavaScript down if you, you know, gazip it. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Sorry. I can, I, I can read my Twitter again when I, you know. I don't know. I, the interface. Uh. Here's another thing. Like, you comment on somebody's plurk. Uh-huh. And correct me if I'm using the terminology wrong. But you comment on somebody's plurk and, like... So, are you, like, going to go back later? I know. I guess I could subscribe to the RSS feed for that particular plurk. But yeah. come right. on, people. Well, okay, so so here's my other problem. Twitter, when it tries to work... Well, it's probably always trying. Well, yeah, no, it is. I, th- I think they just... I mean, um, I can't remember who the guy... One of the founders was on one of the podcasts and he essentially said look i wrote this in my spare time right i didn't you know they didn't think about it you know and uh you know that's what happens you architect something and you you're not thinking about where it's going to go and now you have problems that you know it it happens but the thing is with twitter is you've got interfaces you you don't have to go to the web page right plurk drives you to their interface and their page did you know they have a mobile version? A Plurk? Yeah, a mobile interface. Does it stupidly because scroll to the left? <laughs> I was no, it's it's actually turn your iPhone to the side. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It only works if you turn your iPhone to the exactly. side. Exactly. Right. No, it just kinda cracked me up because of course it's hidden and it doesn't sniff out I mean, maybe if you go to it on a less robust mobile right. device, it sniffs it, but it doesn't sniff out iPhones. <laughs> course it doesn't have a head yeah (laughs) exactly it's like it's headless i have the answer um don p way more genius than we are he said i didn't need to ask aaron hockley i could just ask google what frogs bugs bugs frog google who's that frog bugs was and i I found out it's a it's a project management software yeah yeah Okay. It's sort of like base camp or it, something. It helps software teams communicate by tracking, prioritizing, and coordinating everything they have to do. Right. Like uh, I'm sorry, the like tech track. podcast is over. I know, I'm just like telling track. you what it does. This is Dompy Dompy. If you're gonna have Dompy Dompy on, it's gonna be a tech podcast for the whole <laughs> time. You know what? Every time I see Dompy Dompy, it always makes me think of Domp Domp really? from the, the um what is it, Law and Order? Oh, the yeah. Law and Order noise. Don P. Don P. Always makes me think of. The, I had to take mine off. I like off. it. It I kept like, getting in my drink. Uh, I like. I like. I like the name. I'm trying to fix mine. I want to say I like the name. Hey, Dumpy you know what Dumpy. though? You know what Don P. Don P. is? An amazing babysitter. Oh. I, I haven't used them for full service yet, but uh, when I brought my daughter to Beer and Blog, was it last week or the, yeah. uh, the week before? Don P. Don P. Was all over that. Wow. And in this a good in a good Dumpy. way. In a good way. Not mm. in a scary, freaky way. Babysitter. A good babysitter is hard to find. We lost our favorite babysitter. She moved away to go be happy somewhere. <laughs> she wasn't happy enough here with Kay. Uh, her uh, her fiancé was not <laughs> staying in Portland. I was devastated. They shouldn't be allowed to marry no. babysitters. No. She was so fantastic. Just freaking fantastic. <laughs> yeah. So have we covered no. Plurk? No. We haven't we covered have more. Plurk? I read and I quote from Twitter from this user called Dr. Normal. Who's that guy? <sighs> Fine interface design on Plurk, all in caps with a, with a uh, exclamation point. Fine interface design on Plurk. 
Decapitated pigs or dog, <laughs> as that dog. cami chaos suggests. It's a dog. Uninhibited use of Ajax. Steve Jobs needs to check this out. <laughs> I was. And then, oh, and then, and then, reading. a tweet later, I actually uh, um, sent a tweet to Scobalizer. I, he didn't. He didn't respond. What? Because he gets like a million yeah. tweets. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. And I'm I said, shocked. Scobalizer, please take Pluck down. Please, only you can <laughs> save a Scoble. Well, You're our only hope. Whirly's on there. He might be able to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Just get Calicanus and everybody to jump on Plurk, take the thing down, and then... Right. That's a great idea. It could be like a mob. Actually, I feel bad. You know what? I have nothing to get... I mean, people people use Facebook. I hate Facebook. Um, that's fine. Use Plurk. Use Fl- I mean, I think a lot of people will like Plurk. It's just not for me. Uh, <laughs> have I mentioned I'm in my 40s? <laughs> have I mentioned that I need to get those damn kids off my lawn? <laughs> have I mentioned that my husband's age has somehow affected my ability to deal with Damn kids! That's so right. it's it's a communicable disease being forty. It is. Yeah. Being well, he's not forty. <laughs> he's almost. He's almost halfway through forty. Young. Yeah, I'm. Oh, I'm, I'm in ex- exactly the same yeah. ballpark yeah. myself. I mean, Don't you hate I, those damn kids? Do the math. He's forty-four. I did think for Funny, a I'm forty-four too. There you go. That's eerie. I'm the youngest person in the room. <laughs> oh, that's a big surprise. Um, no, yeah, it's not really. I knew I was the youngest person, and yet the somehow the most mature. Yeah. That's Well, come on. Debatable. You're an open source communist, you know. I God knows what I do. So I mean, I'm wearing <laughs> We're not even Batman masks or something. God knows. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I had a 20-minute conversation with my little uh, on my little BFF about how many different colored wigs I had today, so I don't know that I you qualify. Need to, yeah, you need to start getting those. I mean, we have oh, a no. video podcast. Everybody so. needs to know that Miss Bros and Gammy Chaos will soon be doing a fancy wig photo shoot. Is that part of Camp Naughty? No. Oh. Although those photos may be used for Camp Naughty purposes. Oh, so it's going to precede Camp Naughty. Yes. Interesting. Oh, I So think- I understand that participation in Camp Naughty requires you to be, as I was corrected by um, someone named Miss Burroughs. I'm only putting the hat on for Miss Burroughs, oh. and then I'm going to take it off. Well, let's just do everything for her. But yeah. I was told that you must be female. Female. A blogger. A blogger. And there was something else, a too. A plurker. No, a you bring your friggin' plurk. Back off the plurks. No plurkers? I haven't decided. Wasn't there another requirement, too? I will read you the requirements oh, to be a Camp excellent. Naughty participant. Maybe, plug, maybe it's time to plug you know, Camp Naughty. Camp Naughty. Okay, can I just say something before you start? Yeah, go ahead. This reminds me of a, a wonderful, charming conversation I had with Media Chick at Lunch 2.0. Hi, Media Chick. About how, um, <laughs> how she missed cable access and how much podcasting was reminding her and filling that need of missing cable access. Yeah, like that one in New York where the guy's naked throughout the whole thing. This is a lot like that. You know, I have some after-hours <laughs> stories about cable access in New York that even I don't think I can tell on this show. Yeah. Did you were you part of the New York cable access scene? I no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh man, I was the naked guy on the couch. No, um, oh, you, you must have lost a lot of weight, actually. <laughs> yeah. That guy, and I had a hair transplant. But no, I, I from your genitals. Okay, there will no. I, I was, don't make me spit on my keyboard, please. That's no, all I, I ask. It, 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 then you'll have I, to get a Mac. I have a very funny story about this, but it's very dirty. Well, it is strange. Cable access. After hours. I know. I mean, it's. This is why the tech version is you know, that's separate. Not, I'll tell you what from I'll, this version. I'll tell that story uh, half an hour into the show. I'm trying to spearfish my strawberry out of my tiki mug. Oh no, there's another. There's another fruit skewer over there. For Let me just say this one's all imbued with liquor. Yeah. Though. Let me just say that my Three, story. Four of, kinds of rum. Of New York. <sighs> I knew it was good. Cable access involves uh, not transvestites, transsexuals, and cable access. Mm-hmm. And I woke up the next morning. And it was where like, where were you? Uh, in an <laughs> in apartment, a garbage can. in an apartment, somewhere in Manhattan, <laughs> in an apartment, and um, we were visiting people who were in a Broadway show, friends of ours. And I woke up the next morning. We we're having breakfast, and I said, um, I said to my friend, I said, uh, you know, last night I fell asleep in front of the TV. Um, I think I had a dream, and this is what I was seeing on the TV. And he's like, no, that was no dream. Yeah. I was like, oh. No, it could be pretty entertaining. I love it. Pretty much, pretty much the whole thing was like ads 
you know, just like these little give me a call kind right. of ads on cable access. Right. And they all started out with, you want to do me in the thing? How about yeah. if I do you in the, in, as the camera pans down? And, and right. you're just like, huh? Wow, okay. And that was cable access. In yeah. Portland, in cable access in Portland, we had the naked guy was Jim Spag, the late Jim He's Spag. dead. He's yeah. dead? Yeah. Yes. That's what being naked will do to you. I got my strawberry if, in Yay. case anyone was waiting. Okay. I, I know you're on the media edge of your seats. We're going to talk about. Oh, and, we're going to talk. I'm going to eat it. We're, oh, well, let's, let, <laughs> let's let media chick savor that moment. Okay. That was good. Now we're going to discuss Camp Naughty, and I'm going to tell you what the requirements for Camp Naughty are. You are female. I you am. are a blogger. I am. Very important. You aren't offended by the hijinks of Cami Chaos and Miss Burroughs. You are available Friday, June 11th through Saturday, July 12th. Saturday, Friday, July 11th through Saturday, July 12th. Mm. And you are willing to camp out, which means you must sleep outside. Will there be tents? Yes, but you're not a you're not a girl. Oh well, I'm thinking of girls I know. Ah. So like, is there a sort of time limit on the blogging? Like, if you blog like next week, would that count? Well, <laughs> let's see. the The deadline to sign up is Friday, June thirteenth, which is a week from today, Friday the thirteenth. Ooh, Friday the thirteenth falls on Friday this month. Yes, Friday the thirteenth does fall on Friday. Isn't that nice? That is nice. It's convenient. It's very convenient. And and uh, if we have more requests than we have available spots in the camp, then we will have a lottery system. And Don P. Don Don P. Don P. says Camp Horny will be set up in the neighboring yard. <laughs> However, there will be a, a live webcast of much of Camp Naughty. Much of, but maybe not all of. Not all of. No. Protect the children. Oh boy. <clears throat> yeah, and, and you know what the request was? Uh, can we do a podcast without you? <laughs> I was like, sure. No, it's not. Here's that. the equipment. <laughs> it's it's the it's the oh without you. Yeah, without well, because no, you don't blog. Because he's not a girl. Oh, oh okay. And he doesn't <laughs> blog. He's gonna be. He's gonna. He's still gonna You're be pushing buttons. Yeah, We're just not gonna this let him like have a the microphone. Democratic primary. Primary. Right? Yeah. What are you, just... Hillary Clinton? <laughs> no. Um, Clinton. She's on clerk. Are you serious? <laughs> totally kidding. Not a big Whoa. supporter of Hillary Clinton. Um, yeah, she's no. got the most followers. She's, she, he's just not she allowed to. She was a headless have... dog for a while. I hate headless dogs. Um, it's a pig. I don't no. want to. I don't want to. Pigs have it. curly tails. Yeah. Okay. One big distinction is pigs are hooved animals. Does it have That's hooves? That's true. Let's look. I don't. Yeah, it's a good point. I still. Oh, you know what? Cloven hooves. They make it really difficult. They really do make it difficult, I but saw, pigs have curly pig. tails. I thought it was a pig. Pigs have curly tails, and this does not have a curly there's tail. There's a couple of dogs that have curly tails too. Yes, but yeah. there's no curly like, yeah, but there's okay. no there's no curly tail. So no, he's just been asked not to be the co-host for the live blog for Camp Naughty because I have another co-host for I the Camp Naughty podcast. Would that be one Miss Burroughs? It, it might be one Miss Burroughs. Yes, gotcha. Could be Miss Burroughs. You know. If she'll have me. Although it sounds like you're headed to Triangle Land with uh, Media Check, you guys. She's going to be a very active participant in in uh, Camp Naughty. It's basically a, like a battle for her love, it seems like. Oh, no. She loves me more. She just doesn't want to hurt Miss Bro's feelings <laughs> by telling her that. Um, yeah. There's love. There's lots of love. We all love Media Chick. Media Chick love. There's enough love to go around. It's not a zero-sum game. I mean, exactly. just because you love someone else doesn't mean you have less love to give. Exactly. Love multiplies. It doesn't divide. Right. Like Plurk. Oh, Plurk sucks. <laughs> it all comes back to Plurk in the end. Freaking Plurk. So Twitter is good. Plurk is bad. Camp Naughty is going to absolutely Twitter is not rock. good. Twitter goes down. Twitter is good when it's not down. Twitter like makes you it leaves you wanting more. Hey, I would say even if Twitter <laughs> wanting and wanting and <laughs> wanting. It's the sushi of social network applications. Mm, and you kind I of I want sushi. <clears throat> hey, mm. he and his family, they like the same sushi restaurant that we like. Mio. Uh-huh. Yeah, they're Mio Mio fans as well. My girls have made such good friends with the chef at our local Mio that um, when they walk in the door, he takes an ice cream scoop into mm -hmm. the tobiko. Mm -hmm. and plops it on the plate. Maybe he does that for you guys, too. They are very friendly. Very, uh, very they friendly. They like the kids. We usually do take out, though. Uh, but, yeah, yeah they are so too. sweet and so friendly. And the kids love flying fish row, I'll tell you. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's Mio Sushi, several locations in Portland. Yeah, I think... The commercial sponsor. Exactly. Right? <laughs> no, I the put one, it. The Say one hello to Hawthorne. Sunny. 
the founder of nice of uh, does he still work at the one over northwest well that's the original location that's his home base but yeah. essentially sunny i mean the they started in northwest like off overton somewhere there in, in a victorian house that's oh, i've never original, been to that one original location mm-hmm. sunny and it's a family they're actually korean what? Not not Japanese, but he studied. You know, they all studied in Japan. I mean, Koreans are big sushi eaters. So I mean, they Koreans know sushi just as well as the Japanese. They're they're right. Sushi is a staple of Korean cuisine. Apparently, never been there. According to Sunny, anyway. Um, but he ought to know. And uh, then they started expanding and opened up locations, and like various relatives and people run the locations. And he would go and work as the head sushi chef there um kind of get him to get him going yeah yeah but i mean one one thing about the place is i mean just like sunny you know you you just walk in the door and the first thing they're supposed to do is the traditional hello and they they wave to you and say hi from back behind the right sushi counter and and greet you you know I like that. We, Americans, Americans don't like, do that. Yeah. yeah, they're like, why are they saying hello to us? Yeah, exactly. It's like it's like if you're in Germany, yeah. right, and you go down for for breakfast in your hotel, or your right. bed and breakfast, right? right, and you walk in the door, and all of a sudden everyone says, "Good morning, good morning," and right. you're like, "What the? I'm an American. Am I late? <laughs> yeah. Well, you could be. That's when yeah, they go, actually. "Good morning," and they kind of look, you know, like, "Hogan, you're late again." <laughs> I've had experience General like Bacardo that would in, be here. In, in Austria, even worse. So I went to Hogan one Hill. of those. Thank you very much. That was a, that was a very good impression. By Thank the way. you. There are more impersonation, <laughs> impression, <laughs> impression. Know, one or the other. But uh, I was in Austria once and uh, going to one of those. You know, they have the bathhouses with the saunas and the pools. They go indoors and outdoors, and all these works. They're really into the baths over in Austria. And I'm in the sauna with my wife, and this insane ninety-year-old German man. Well, I probably Austrian, I guess, but he was speaking German, starts screaming at us to take our clothes off, strip down. <laughs> and we're, we're, we're not in the showers, but we're in a sauna close enough, I felt like. And just the idea of someone screaming in German to me when I'm anywhere close to a shower to strip down, it, I don't, you know, I'm part Jewish. Maybe that, it just brought some feelings to me. And I was like, oh. you know, I couldn't take it. I was going to say, you later kind of... <laughs> <laughs> If it had been like Sweden, thinking, yeah. no, that would have been a different story. That was kind of hot. I yeah. don't know. 80-year-old German guys aren't my thing. Yeah. Yeah. No. I mean, I have a pretty open mind. No. <laughs> when you're 80, I won't want you anymore. Is he German? Yeah. He has. Oh, yeah. With a name like Normal. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Oh, come exactly. on. Exactly. Yeah, he's... Uh... I actually come I mean, from German heritage as well. I'm not as... Um... Probably not, not quite as German as Martin Weiner. Yeah, but pretty close. He's so German he doesn't even change his name to something. You know, not German. Mer- he didn't even Americans change it to say. like you know, pie. Well, let's just say <laughs> or... we found out the big the big treasurelicious <laughs> revelation was we found out he's a huge Frank Zappa fan. Mm-hmm. That somehow makes sense. Now that just right there, I was like, really. Why didn't you tell me this before? Now you're like for some buddies. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And and he probably we, we has. Spend a little... You talk about Frank Zappa on every episode of Strange Love, yes, don't I you? Yes, I do. And I actually should have my picture of Frank somewhere here. That's you know, I'm I'm getting ready to redo woman. this wall. When I do, we can put a framed picture of Zappa Frank, up there. Yeah, yeah, I have a nice eight by ten glossy of Frank, and I would be more than happy to put a poster up. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna fancy Mr. up this Zappa. wall here so that you know. Something Have we pretty. mentioned that you're 40 years old? <laughs> just kidding. Well, in relation I just to wanted Zappa. to say that. It sounded good. Yeah, because, you know, you have to be an old guy to appreciate Zappa, right? Yeah. Which is probably the truth. I have Ma- to tell Martin's you. easily 40, right? Or 22. Martin's a little tiny 18. Baby. I think he's 18. I think he's legal now. He can drink? Um, yeah. He, I know, I've never seen him imbibe alcohol, so I don't, I don't know that he could. Um, but Miss Burrow says that she hates that he loves Zappa. Oh, see, and 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 based on what I saw in his Treasure Delicious, of which I was familiar with, you know, all the works that he had there, I have several other CDs that he does not have. So you're mm-hmm. you're gonna you're gonna turn him on to the real stuff. I know Martin's actual <laughs> real bet. age. Really? Yes. 
He is over 18 then. And he my is. current, and if I had a Treasure Delicious account, which is a problem. If you had an I open think, ID I think account. They're getting ready to put out a hit on me. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, it, it, I would uh, I would put my latest acquisition was uh, Zappa, the mother's Roxy and Elsa, Elsewhere. Film, uh, film recorded in the early 70s in, I don't know, a show they did an in California. And no, it was a show they did in sir. California. It's funny. Live show. Live Zappa's show. live shows are great. Features I, dummy I up. Been to one. I so you're, I should, you're, I you're beyond play. me. I appreciate Zappa, but I am not like a deep Zappa head. Yeah, but I like him. Martin is a 29 year old Zappa lover. Hmm. 20. That's pretty young to be a Zappa mm-hmm. lover. Yeah. yeah Zappa so you agree before. that it's an age thing? Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> Come on, we're just a bunch of old farts, man. Exactly. He's sort of like the Elvis for people who are 44. Exactly. Well, I like Elvis, too. But I like <laughs> Elvis. I know. But... And remember when he was still alive, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, sort of alive. You could still turn TV on. And it's yeah. like, well, there's like, well, hey, Elvis is up here. We got Elvis up here. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Elvis is... he, he doesn't have an open ID account? No. Oh, my God. I this is not. like breaking news. No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> I have a Google account. Which? Which, by default, under the I head. believe... Unless you unless cool. you've ever logged into anything with your open ID, I don't think it counts. Well, all AOL accounts. Well, again, are I never log into anything. I don't even log into my own da- damn chat room here. <laughs> I'm use streamer number five six four one. Oh no wonder I don't know. So there's some guy like making comments. I'm like, what the hell do you know, That's jackass? Yeah. It's funny how once you take his name away, he's unintelligible. Yeah, it's true. You're talking about me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or is he still talking hey, like Kissinger? What? You fooled my president to his ass yesterday. <laughs> that was more like Schwarzenegger. Yeah. <laughs> They're actually related. <laughs> That's why Kissinger couldn't become president either. He wasn't born here, you know. Oh, because, I was going to say because he's related to Schwarzenegger? That's true. Okay, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I have a problem what with other, it too, What other but... bad impressions do we do? What <sighs> other bad impressions do you do, Nate? Uh, wow. You know, I'm not really an impresario. I'm thinking, I could. I'm sure any impression I do is bad. So they're all bad. I can sing like Louis Armstrong a little bit. Really? Can we cue music for that? I actually might. Um, we might. Yes. Please do. Do you have any requests? Do you Do you have anything specific uh, is on there, Mike? Or do- yeah, I think I do. I'm a pretty big Louis Armstrong fan, actually. Satchmo. You're, you're in a, you're in a, you're a good company. Oh yeah. So Frank Zappa and Louis Armstrong. You at, are 44. At the no, well no, I'm. Oh, you're yeah. the big. Oh, he, that's he right. Also, I heard that. But at, at our wedding, our recessional was "Kiss to Build a Dream On." We didn't go with any of the traditional wedding music. We got married nice. on a riverboat, so it worked very like well. But riverboat gambling riverboat. No, just Portland riverboat. Oh, Portland. Yeah. Not, not on the riverboat Mississippi. in Portland. Yeah. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Sternwheeler? Sternwheeler Rose. Nice. Yeah, the one that docks down by OMSI right by the submarine. Mm-hmm. You know, I used to work at OMSI. I didn't know that you used to work at OMSI. What did you do But this OMSI? this show isn't about me. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> Just kidding. No, actually, that's the secret. <laughs> we have guests on <laughs> and so that we can talk, talk more them. about us. <laughs> and actually, if you watched last week's program... It doesn't go well when we Where we have didn't have a else. guest for the first half hour. Oh, really? Yeah. No. It doesn't go. Oh, I should well. log into Skype. As, do we Speaking have friends who are? Is that that was an excellent impression of Skype? Thank you. <laughs> you we got Kissinger <laughs> and we got Skype, Skype on the show. What Can do you, you do the Intel Inside chime? <laughs> <laughs> I think well, wow. it was I Dream of Genie, wasn't it? <laughs> I have no idea. I have no uh, idea. Um, let's see. Sometimes I get that I Dream of Genie soundtrack stuck in my head. Yeah, when my when my roommate worked at Teleport, we would go to parties and they would have a party game, which would be they one of them would make a modem noise and the others would have to guess which modem they were impersonating. <laughs> All right, that's the geek. I was thing never I good have. at that. I could never do that because I would always be like, I don't know, the one that connects you to the internet. Well, so, didn't didn't I just hear Griggs tweeting about how he? Um, he became a geek because when he was a kid, he could whistle into the phone in the right tones oh, to make yeah. his modem do something or something like that. <laughs> it's not a, uh, that's an urban legend, isn't it? But, uh, Gr- it's Griggs is telling it about himself. So. Yeah, yeah. He is kind of a self-promoter, though. You know the type. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you guys follow him. 
at I, Craig's. Craig's. Yes, I do. He's a uh, one of the, you know, he's a Liza Danger works with him, I think, and JT Keith. They're a little team. A startup that deals with mobile apps. So if you don't have the music ready, Miss Burroughs would like I, me to I, sing I actually, the Google song. I, I thought I did. Oh, okay. I know it's somewhere. <laughs> Whoa. There's the real Skype. Can you make an you got to do the beginning. Of it. No, I can't do it. That that was bad. But I can sing the googling song. Do no, no, I can't sing the it. Googling I can't remember it. There's a googling. It was I have um, stage fright. I, I know exactly what it was. It was uh, Tijuana Taxi by Irv Albert. Yep. Wasn't that the googling? Song? Yeah, it is. There you go. Again, did you, did you, 44 did you, did you. strikes yeah. again. Mm-hmm. Nice. I remember when that was on the radio. Yeah, it's well, at least sad. you have your memories. Anytime yeah. I Google something, I sing that song, but it's gotten worse. God, when Hendrix Anytime was at Woodstock I do Woodstock anything and on the internet the now, freaking... I do that. Oh, God, I do that. That was great. It's awful. I'll walk down the street with my mom Burrows changed my diapers and the sing the that. Googling song. It's horrible. You're Googling while you're walking? No, I've stopped just singing. I, oh, I used to only do that when I was actually Googling something and... Looking through the results, and now I just walk around randomly singing the songs. Are you looking up facts while you do it? Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm getting naturally. him on his phone. It's forwarding. Who? Nice. I don't know, Steve. Let's call. Oh, him dude, up. honey. He's, Isn't it like three a.m. there? He's or something? Tur- hang it up. Oh, shit. Hang it up. He's probably hungover or drunk or sleeping. Turn it off. Hello. Oh, you woke up, Steve. Uh-oh. Hey, Steve. Hello. Yeah. Oh, man. Are you Hi. on? It's Cammy Chaos. You weren't sleeping, were you? Yeah, I was fast asleep. You woke him up. Uh, you oh, should not be allowed I'm to sorry, play Steve, with Skype. I'm sorry, Steve. I didn't think I didn't think about the time zone. Oh, Jesus. Uh, it's, it, time zones don't Jesus exist anymore. Christ. It's actually more than one time zone. It's a few time zones. Yeah. Oh, my dear Lord. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, man. <laughs> I'm so no, sorry, it's Steve. It's all right. It's all right. I'm so. St- please go back to sleep. And next time I this will like not let Mr. This is like the morning zoo now. We've just yeah. dialed Steve and woke him up in the middle of the night. You're, you're worse than no, Howard it's Stern. No, it's, it's like a, it's a reasonable time. It's eight thirty-eight in the morning. <laughs> oh, well, you slug a bed. Time to get up. It's not reasonable. It's Saturday. So Steve, Steve, we're doing Strange Love Live on the show right now, and we've got Nate Angel and Henry Kissinger. Would you like to say <laughs> hi to them? Welcome, Steve. Yeah, yeah. Hi. I Hello, have guilt. Steve. I'm going to have guilt for like a week over the fact that you woke him up, Mike. Thank you so much. No, no, it's just fine. Oh, my dear. <laughs> do you, do you have... Henry Kissinger. Yeah, Steve, welcome to the show. <laughs> oh, that wasn't very good. That was not Steve good. Steve Ray Cop, okay. <laughs> and we're laughing so hard. <laughs> we can't do it anymore. Of course, we are Steve. drunk. Oh. Okay, oh my God. that's it. You know, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw this tape on at 92.7 or whatever, and we're, we'll just get the morning zoo contract. We're done. Can we cut to the uh, traffic live chopper report now, Tammy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you drunk dialed she's, Steve. She's speechless. And we're not even letting him talk. Exactly. Do you have anything oh, to no, say? I want to talk. I don't mind talking. <laughs> you tell us about the giant space vibrator. How's how's the traffic over there? <laughs> Media chick says good morning. <laughs> oh, good morning. She's not here in the room with us no, in, she... in body, but is in spirit. Uh oh. She's just in the chat room. I can't believe he did that. I was. <laughs> so, is that part of the new tradition of the show that you're going to dial <laughs> Steve up no matter what time it is in Europe? <laughs> We're going to find people in Europe on our Skype and dial them. Lovely. Oh, wow. My Americans hurt. really are brutish. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's exactly what I was thinking, right? You know, it's Are like, you sure you want to come visit us in Portland, Steve? Yeah. Again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I will do. So oh. you're ringing to Skype. Skype is then ringing to my mobile. Yeah, that's the beauty of it. That's so sort of your fault, though, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. It is. I've got, got the forwarding on. So. <laughs> oh, my God. My you, husband's a giant you, jackass. You, and you were available on Skype. You were yeah. able, available on Skype, Steve. I'm always available. I asked him to push the button. The former president asked me to call Steve. Oh, okay. <laughs> Henry, shut up. <laughs> God. We can't bring Henry with us anywhere. And, and plus, he drank all the Mai Tais. 
Oh. Or whatever you so, call this. Oh. Pineapple painkillers. So, Steve, the, really the important question, the reason we dialed you tonight, and the Ooh. very, very important question Plurk. is, are you on Plurk? He is, he is on Plurk. What do you think of Plurk, yes. Steve? Weigh in on Plurk from the European <laughs> point of view. I'm not, I'm not quite sure yet. I mean, of course, I've been plurking <laughs> and, you know, enjoying saying, saying the word Plurk, and everyone I've talked to has, has really enjoyed saying Plurk. It is but fun I to say. Be, yeah, the only advantage at the moment is in polite conversation. You know, you're sort of, are you plurking? Yes, I'm plurk. Did you plurk? Yeah, I plurked, yes. How do you feel about the timeline going to the left? Awful. Yeah, that is way too funky in a lot of ways. Um, yeah, I did try plurking on Twitter, you know, because, you know, Steve wants, you know, or loves. Mm -hmm. Right. That, that is a way to get around it. You can sort of plurk a bit on Twitter and then you've, you've got it all. Wait a minute, I'm not feeling bad about dialing him now. Because oh. I blamed you for getting me on plurk. Maybe it was Steve. Maybe oh, I yeah, Steve yeah. was the one who was getting on plurk. I am innocent. That's I think right. I got on plurk because... Steve was on Plurk. It's all Steve's exactly. fault. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Those so Europeans want book. us to be on Plurk. That's right. It's all part of their plot to turn us into a third world country. Oh, and, too late. We and are they here. want to burn all their cell phone minutes <laughs> via Skype calls first thing on yeah. Saturday morning. <laughs> yeah. How many euros is this call costing you, Steve? Yeah. Uh, no, no, we're getting rid of the euros. We're getting the Maros actually here now. The Mar What? How many fun. Plurk dollars do you have? <laughs> <laughs> they, they have their own currency. God, God, They're made no, out of headless like, pig dogs. Hey, billion, I think. <clears throat> I have to Twitter. Hey, next I'm time. I'm not going to plurk this, but I am going to Twitter that that Doctor Normal drunk dialed you. Yeah. Um. So so next time you're you're having beer with the rocket scientists, the rocket guys. Yeah. yeah. Talk to them about plurk. Get them on plurk. Ask them if time does go to the left. Really. Exactly. <laughs> That's what I want to know. They're rocket scientists, yeah. though. They're not. You know. They will know. And what they know? Scientists. Aren't they physicists or yeah. something? I mean, yeah. I mean, it's maths and physics. So it's, it's not. It's not rocket science, you know. The stuff. <laughs> well, it is. <laughs> we dropped a lot of bombs on Cambodia using rockets. <laughs> so, Steve, when do you when do you anticipate your next trip to Portland? <laughs> I'm eating my food now. I was going to try for Ignite Three, but I was just looking at the. Um, how much it was going to cost? It's like two thousand dollars. It's it's the ridiculous. ticket prices have gone up for yeah. Ignite. <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> man! <laughs> I mean, My Ignite Two was, was free. Ignite Two was free, and now it's two thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah. You will get to learn how to boil water. Yeah, God. So, and how to buy a car um, for less know. than you paid for for the ticket. Really? Yeah. yeah. We could have a telethon for you. Ooh, get Steve to yeah. ignite three. <laughs> do you do a Jerry Lewis impersonation too? Please don't ask him to do a Jerry Lewis impersonation. Well, so there's a couple different Jerry Lewis. Oh no, right? he's gonna do There's it. Jerry Lewis from the Nutty Professor, the movie, right? You know that crazy. I, I can't. Wait, do it. maybe we should check in and see if everyone in Europe likes Jerry Lewis as much as the French. The Steve? French. The French love Jerry Lewis, and uh, we've heard anyway. What about you guys? No, no. Well, I'm, I'm kind of old. So, you know, I know Jerry Lewis. Are you like 44? Uh, a lot, a lot oh, that's an excellent Europe, question. So, are you 44? Yeah. All the men on the show yeah. are 44. Really? I'm 45. I win. Well, then you're close enough. close enough. Close enough. Where, well, do, you, where yeah. do you stand on Frank Zappa? Uh, how do I stand on Frank Zappa? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I stood on his groin <laughs> one summer. <laughs> he never forgave me. No, I like... Frank Zappa's great. There you go. And Jerry Lewis, great. Did you ever see their duet or hear their duet? <laughs> yeah, it's <was> awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I can't do that. You know that that high pitched thing he did yeah. when he was. But then there's the Jerry Lewis of the telethon, right? right. Where he's like, <laughs> okay, back yes. off the microphone, young man. And back you can't it off. understand him. Yeah. No. But I thought his it. face was completely numb at that point from the drugs. He is good yep. in, have you guys seen Funny Bones? No. How about King of Comedy? It's like King no. of Comedy. King he of plays comedy. a straight role, like, as yeah. in King of Comedy. It's one of the best movies, one of the funniest movies I've ever seen, King of Comedy. Be Check it out. But better than King, or Funny Bones better than King of Comedy? Or? Yes. Really? Wow. Although I, I'm a big fan of King of Comedy, Funny Bones is better. And I bet you, anyone who's listening doesn't know who else was in King of Comedy. No. 
Robert De Niro. Robert De Niro. That's because we're 44, though. That's right. We were old enough to go to that movie. When so I when I'm 44 at, years old, am I going to magically have this information? Yeah, you're going to magically have trivial exactly. facts in your head that no one I else cares about. I have some trivial facts that yeah. no one else cares about. I just don't have this particular set. And of then what happens facts. is, as you get older and no one listens, you just talk it to yourself, <laughs> like when you're walking down the street, for example. So we'll see this in a few years as Nate's walking down the street looking for hot spots to work on, <laughs> and he'll just start babbling this litany of things about the 60s and Jerry so, Lewis. In my Henry Kissinger voice. Exactly. Like when you're in the bathroom in the morning? <laughs> things have changed. We've got, with, with Wikipedia, you know, a four-year-old can know who Jerry Lewis is. There we go. It's fair enough. I even know who Jerry Lewis is. Just don't like him. You haven't seen Funny Bones. Don't wanna. <laughs> You're so narrow-minded. I don't want to be broad-minded. Miss Camp so, Naughty. so since we're deliberately wasting your time, Steve, it, it, what did you do this week? Anything interesting? Oh, oh it's all top secret. I can't tell you really. Oh, top secret. I did write top secret on Twitter at some point, but that's because I was really tired. I was going to say something intelligent, and you know, I didn't. Really? Yeah. If you want to put something intelligent out, you should put it on Plurk, of course. Not Twitter. Now you're advocating clerk. There was sarcasm. You didn't you're hear the sarcasm. You're becoming a clerk evangelist. <laughs> Accidentally. Clerk <laughs> evangelist. Clerk evangelist. Clerk evangelist. How did you get the um, the microphones to work this time? Like oh. Last time I kissed a kitty at all. So Nate is actually talking. sitting with us in the studio. I am live with both versions oh. of Henry Kissinger. Mm-hmm. That's right. Wow. Yeah. Well, if you were in Portland, you would be here too, sitting near the bongo drums. Yeah, I know, I know. I yeah, know. drinking um, yeah. pineapple painkillers from Tiki Mugs. Wow. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Talking to Giddy about we were going to do, um, you know, this blind questions and answers, because I couldn't hear her and she couldn't hear me. And I was thinking that would be great to do that on the show where I ask a question, a question she can't hear and she can answer. I'm excited about oh. that. Oh. We're going to set up an yeah, episode no. just and dedicated also, to it. Is that like that... Uh, that old game show where the married people came on and one spouse left the stage and then they, yeah yeah, yeah. The, the newlywed that was the newlywed game. game the newlywed game yes. come on you're 44 oh, come on Jesus. I failed because only Steve and Giddy have never met newlyweds interesting what is the most uncomfortable place you've made whoopee in <laughs> famous the, question from the show in the back yeah, yeah, seat of a Volkswagen that. yeah, yeah. And then one of them was... The answer was in, in the bottom. Yeah. yeah. It was in the bottom. I've seen that clip. And I think they... It's on YouTube right now. It's, it's famous. It yeah, it's famous. Very, can famous. we run that clip? Play the clip? We could. Okay. Come on, Dr. Normal. Can I set up the clip for you? So, I'm a slightly pump 26-year-old black woman wearing polyester in this shot. No, never mind. And I'm Henry Kissin. <laughs> and I took it in the bottom. Man. Don't you have any guilt at all over waking up Steve? Uh, hey, he invaded my show, man. I, I did for a few hey, minutes. Yeah, sorry about that. Hey, look, this is like Plurk. You see something, you click on it, right? <laughs> I saw Skype. I saw Steve. I said, well, let's see what this is all about, you know? And the and guy then, answered yeah, you the told phone. Me down. I was on the timeline enjoying myself <laughs> on the sleep timeline. Excuse me? <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, I don't enjoy myself to the left. <laughs> Plurky. You should try it. It I, okay. makes, you, makes you believe it's someone else. <laughs> I only enjoy myself from top to bottom, <laughs> not from left. No. Not to left to right. So horizontal. <laughs> yes, oh, vertical. Bra- Bram's calling Steve, uh, I think, I believe is calling Steve an accidental uh, um, Plurk evangelist. Plurk angelist, please. Plurk angel. Yeah, well, I did kind of, uh, I did sort of say I'm on Plurk because I'm enjoying me. And actually, I think Cammy was there in like a second. Or I something. did. Yeah, well, you jumped on and we all had to jump with you. I jumped right on yeah, Steve. Well, uh, that, <laughs> that's how it works. Bram, he said, Bram said there's a land grab going on. <laughs> and I, I thought, someone said land grab. And I was going, God, I've got to get my handle. You know, oh, yeah, God. Because what, what if some creepy freak went and said, I know, I want to be Cammy Chaos. Yeah, exactly. On I, Plurk. I've got to go I admit, get my name before she does, or he does, no, or, or no it land does. grab, my friends. We have no time. <laughs> we must go. <laughs> I admit that I got onto Plurk to make sure I got my username. 
And I think it was Bram's fault. It's a very popular one. For the first 10 seconds, I did the same thing. And then the next 10 seconds, I said, why? Why do I care? I don't care if some Dr. Normal guy is up on the other Dr. Normal. I don't give a crap. (laughs) The other Dr. Normal. What were you saying, It was Rick. I think it was Rick that started it. Rick, yeah. Damn you, Rick. (laughs) Damn him and his blogging. Making us all do things. Next, he'll be like linking to us and how we didn't like Plurk. Freaking Plurk. (laughs) (sighs) Excuse me. This can be hereafter known as the anti Plurk episode of Strange Love. What happens when three civilized people get in a room and hate Plurk? And then drunk dial Steve. They were plucked. So are we going to make an agreement on the next one that we're not going to go there and get our handles? Or are we going to go there and get our handles just th- in case it turns into the next thing? I think we should go and get our handles. Yeah. There's I mean, nothing wrong with what's it going to hurt if we just have something that we just don't like? You know it would be fantastic? Same thing I did with Facebook. Come on. Is if, um, if they just had open ID. Yeah. That's crazy talk. And what are you, could, Aaron Hockley? We could just open it. Or so a- much Adam Hockley, as I like easier. to call him. It would just be so much easier if we could just go, oh, I've got wait open. A minute, wait a minute. What's this Fogbuzz stuff? Fog, <laughs> fog, quick. Wait, do I have my username on Fogbuzz? Exactly. Oh, crap. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I like to have my username everywhere. I couldn't get my username on Gmail. I couldn't get camichaos at gmail.com. Someone else already had it. And I'm thinking, Bitch. why the hell do you have camichaos? You're not freaking camichaos. I'm freaking camichaos. <laughs> yeah, and since my, my handle is an actual word in some languages, you know, people use it in everyday yeah. conversation. So you okay. never know. A-holes. It looks like the chat room agrees that next time there's a land grab, we're all going to go out there, <laughs> but we're all going to land grab each other's <laughs> handles. Oh, no. And then we're going to end up bartering these things. It's like, I don't know. Huh. You can call me Tarosi. Yeah, yeah. How much do you want? <laughs> call. Oh, I did that. I, I actually, um, I have, uh, I have Twitter for Port Vangelist because, uh, you know, uh, Metafluence and Kvitan were all about making this Port Vangelist thing, and they never actually got off their duffs. Right. Well, they haven't yet, and I'm sorry, Metafluence. So I, uh, I'm sitting on their Twitter name until they pay me off. <laughs> it's homesteading. I call it. Hey, that was hey, an idea I had for. It. For a social network, but you you go in, you you've got your handle, but you make a deal with like twenty other people that they it rotates randomly. Nice. So I could become beaten all of a sudden one oh. day, and then I pretend I'm him all day, and people don't don't know if it's him or if it's me or who it is. I think that's a good idea. I like it. It's I like it too. Idea. I would to- I would totally join <laughs> to claim would. your username. Because I'm all about being yeah. someone that I'm not on the Clearly. internet. <laughs> we don't even know who you are. I lost exactly. my drink for a moment there. It was missing. My monkey was hiding from me. It's very sad. <laughs> when your monkey's hiding? Mm-hmm. Be chaos, this monkey was hiding from her. All right, that was much more Schwarzenegger. Mm-hmm. I know, I'm working on it. Yeah, you sound it all. It gets you know, worse. Creepily, muscly and stuff. The full, I always have to, if I do a Kissinger impression, you always have to start out with the phrase, I was speaking to the former president just yesterday. And, you you know, still sound else you like say. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Like total recall, Arnold okay, Schwarzenegger. Okay, you do it. No. I don't Uh-oh. do Arnold all right, Schwarzenegger. All right, kids, kids yeah. break it up. I can do boop, boop, bee doo boop, and that's about it. So, Steve, what, what impressions do you do? Uh, well, what, now? <laughs> um, none at all. <laughs> that's the right answer, Steve. <laughs> Not even like Barishnikov? Uh, oh, I have an excellent question. You don't have a good George Bush? Is oh, there a good no. George Bush? No. There's no. <laughs> no good Bush. No? Um, How about um, uh, Sean Connery? Oh, Sean Connery. We love a good Sean Connery here. Uh, it's just not going to work. I, I think you're bullying him. I know. Don't bully Steve. He you won't even let him up. talk. I know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't gotten a word in edgewise. Ah, that's fine. <laughs> there was one word. Last time he was on the show, we we didn't talk. We just made him talk. We just sat there and we're like, please speak. Our show sucks. Please speak. <laughs> and this time... That was a good show. It was an excellent show because we shut up and let you talk about giant vibrators and um, and In rocket space. scientists this drinking is, beer. Is this a nostalgia oh, episode? Oh, yeah, and strange lits. And strange lits. Strange lits. Yeah. Yeah, you've been... You strange Nuggets. Strange Nuggets. 
and strangelets. Yeah. yeah. I think your cat. And the whole thing's right. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be there going flip the switch. The switch with the by the Haldron Glider, super drunk. Oh, Elton that's beer. that's right. We talked about that as well about the end of the world, yeah. which is when is the end of the world next week? When are they flipping uh, the switch on that thing? Friday, oh, Friday no, the 13th. we gotta wait a little bit longer because I want to do Camp Naughty before the end of the world. Okay, that's important to me. The, so it, it'll have what, to be after July thirteenth. What did we What did we figure out? It was called the Hadron Hadron. What? I think it's Aldron, isn't it? Haldron Collider? Oh, that yeah. thing. Yeah, I thought that you were thing. talking about the Norse, the Norse Day of Armageddon. No. But no, I when, mean, that's pretty much the... what happens when they turn it on. Or you know? rock or something like that. <laughs> the scientist flips the switch, turns around and goes, Hello, Oops. what are these three horsemen doing here? <laughs> Where's the fourth horseman? <laughs> isn't that four? Right. Yeah, it is four, it's isn't four it? Horsemen. It becomes a big like, Terry Gillum movie. The fourth movie, one's you know? really oh, okay. sneaky. Monty Python. Yeah. He's the ninja horseman. Yeah. Monty Python has never... They never have done an uh, apocalyptic movie, have they? They've never mm. done the apocalypse. They've done the meaning of life. Where it all ends badly. Yeah. There might be an episode from the TV show about that. Maybe. I seem to recall, like, you know, a mushroom cloud. Yeah. Well, that was a dead ender. <laughs> um, I, I wonder if we should let Steve go back to sleep. Or at least get some coffee. Yeah, or, yeah. and then I can yeah. ask this uh, this oh, no, carefully not, provided list of questions <laughs> that I have. That I, was, I was actually going to have... Oh. To... Oh. oh. A spark of no. interest from abroad. List of questions. Who are you asking? Nate provided me with a list of ten questions to ask him. Oh. That's my kind of guest. I always like it when my guests either bring questions to ask me or bring me questions yes. to ask them. So he knows the answers. So he <laughs> exactly. Would you like oh, to hear I know the, the questions? questions? Why don't yeah. we call you? I'm going to ask the questions now. Question one. Question one. <clears throat> Why don't we call you Doctor Nate or Doctor? Gesundheit. <laughs> <laughs> <Gesundheit. laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, I mean, there is another doctor in the room, and so I, you know, I'm not sure that I should be addressing this when Doctor Kissinger is here, but he's very busy over there. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, Checking the chat room. <clears throat> the reason I put that on there was I, uh, I'm actually ABD for a doctorate. Does anyone know what ABD stands for? I know what ADD is. <laughs> <laughs> About... That's actually part of the reason, yeah. part of the problem. No, ABD stands for all but dissertation. Oh. So that means you did everything to become a doctor except play one on TV. No, except write your dissertation. So you could be calling me Dr. Nate. But I failed to finish the mission. What kind of doctor would I be? Yes. That's exactly what I was going to ask. <laughs> well, I was just going to I'm going to go ahead with interviewing myself. <laughs> I was just going to say, Dr. <laughs> Nate, when I was a child. <laughs> yes. What kind of doctor yes, would you be? Um, well, I was uh, studying to be a media scholar. So film, television, and the interwebs. No wonder you're a fan of... Of Jerry Lewis. Yes, yeah, somebody had to study him in there. There <laughs> wasn't anybody else left, so we drew straws and I got Jerry Lewis. No, that's not true. But yeah, I was going to be a uh, professor. Fortunately, I gave that up to be an accidental open source evangelist. Accidentally, yeah. Yes. The next question, and it was echoed. Do we have a question for Steve? <laughs> <laughs> Steve, would you like to get coffee or go to sleep? No, no, I'm just trying to sort of figure out what kind of what flavor of doctor I would like to be. Yeah. What what kind of doctor would you like to be? Yeah. A banana doctor. That's the only thing that came into my head for some reason. I don't even know if there are ones. But, I mean, I heard there was a when I was younger there was a strawberry professor. Someone that just became a professor of strawberries so it must be possible. You know. And yeah. bananas are in trouble. Are That's they? Right. Are they endangered? Yeah, they're endangered. I had this discussion it's with funny. someone else. Is this actually true? <laughs> They're, yes. they're like the frogs. They're sort of the bellwether. When just before Armageddon happens, the bananas start to go. Uh, according to to someone I had this discussion with, bananas are sterile, <laughs> <laughs> and yet still no, useful. they clone them now. They they're clone the bananas. bananas are sterile. They can't replicate or something. Is that is that is that true? I think it's because the 
trees all had trisectomies. You're our resident banana expert, Steve. That's why we <laughs> call you. Banana slash rocket scientist That's expert. Crazy. I mean, they got that incredibly phallic shape, and they're, they're sterile. It's sort of That's so happens? sad. It like, it's, un, un, yeah. it's ironic. Same with men. You know, men yeah. are getting more and more sterile over time. So, you, know, <laughs> you hit 44. Well, not in the future. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. know, I learned an interesting thing about men and women while I was lying on the table having my nuts sliced open. Oh. oh. During the operation. Women are born with all the eggs they're ever going to have. That is absolutely true. Men produce sperm continuously throughout their life, yeah. and women are born. That is why um, women, after <sighs> a certain age, are more likely to... Um, develop a child with a birth defect because their eggs have gotten older. So I, I, and I, menopause is, you run out of eggs. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile. I, so no, I, no, I, I, Dr. Normal's confused, please. I'm confused. <laughs> so how does a guy who almost has a doctorate In TV. wind up laying on the table and learning this fact? In TV. Yeah. You'd think I'd be doing it to myself, but it's hard to reach <laughs> <Yeah>. down there. <laughs> <clears throat> um, you just had, or they were just having the friendly discussion. Yeah, exactly. You didn't have your yeah. headphones. I've heard that it's very helpful to have headphones. Little eyes. So iPod. was the other part of the discussion, headphones. and men produce sperm for their entire life. Right, but here's the crazy thing. I mean, on average, seventy thousand a day we produce, and I, this explains something to me about men because we spend maybe half the day making the damn things and the other half the day trying to get rid of them, right? Because tomorrow we're going to make another seventy thousand, mm -hmm. and women wonder why we're. You know, kind of absent-minded, and are also obsessed with getting rid of our sperm. Like, come on, you're not making new seventy thousand eggs every day. Well, no, actually, it's not even that. It's just that when we have sex, our we don't drop an egg every time we get laid. You guys had sex? <laughs> <laughs> yes. But you very, did drop the egg quickly. that one time. <laughs> yeah, but not don't while I was having again. sex. Ooh. I'm the one that left the room. I walked in on a very uncomfortable situation down here. I gotta say, I've been very comfortable. Um, yes, maybe that's the problem. <clears throat> a, little a little too, too comfortable. comfortable. Yeah. No, but I mean, come on. I didn't really realize this. I didn't put it all together. But there we are. You know, seventy thousand a day, and you wonder. You know, you wonder what you do. That's, like, why should? I'm surprised they get anything done. It's a physical imperative. Yeah, we're we're all slightly handicapped men. And thank you for listening to Science Friday. I'm Ira Flato, and our special guest was Dr. Nate Angel. I have another question for Dr. Nate. Let's move on, unless Steve had something else to add there. Anything else no, about I, bananas? It's a, it's a great chat-up line. You know, you're talking to a girl in the bar. You can come back to my place and drop your egg for me. Or drop your egg. <laughs> she doesn't. We yes. don't drop eggs when we have sex. They <laughs> drop them later when they're making omelets. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and Cami Chaos makes a mean omelet, it's by the way. It's true. I make an excellent omelet. Excellent. Yes. Okay. Now, this was also echoed is this by Bram. question number two? It is question number two. Yeah. Bram also asked this in the chat room. Were you really raised by wolves? Although I think he asked, what's with the raised by wolves? <laughs> well, the phrase. Does, does he want me to explain the phrase? I don't know. Just answer <laughs> okay. the question that you asked. Answer the damn question. <laughs> Well, um, <clears throat> I like to put it that way, but it's a little bit, a little bit stretching the truth. But when I was a kid, my uh, my family became hippies, sort of one weekend while no one was watching closely, <laughs> and then they decided to start a commune and move back to the land. How does that work? Like ET flies down and touches people, and it's like we will be hippies now. It actually involves another three-letter acronym that's not ABD. It starts with L, and it oh. ends with D, and there's an S in the middle. And the next thing you know, you're starting a commune. We make hippies. We make communes. We've made hippies. Communist hippies. Communist hippies. On commune. Exactly. Steve, were your parents hippies? No, they weren't, actually. They didn't take they enough. could have been. No, no, they didn't go for it. They didn't take enough acronyms. If they had no, eat, they didn't take enough. If they'd eat no, more acronyms. No. Yeah, none at all, actually. So they started this commune, the Magic Animal Farm. <laughs> I kid you not. That's where that plurk animal comes from, the magic animal farm. <laughs> they cut off his head. <laughs> and he can still walk around. It's like a chicken. It's fantastic. He's like oh, the voodoo gross. magic animal. Where uh, was, we were talking about plurk in case where was didn't this, catch that. Where, where, was this, where was the magical animal farm? The magic animal farm. Magic animal farm. Get it right. Commune. Where was magic it? animal farm commune brought to you by plurk. <laughs> Ask for it by name. Look. At your grocery store now. Yeah. 
If it's called Plurk, it must be good. Plurk it up <laughs> and name? fry it like bacon. I know, I know that reference. Uh, yes, you do. <laughs> because I'm 45. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Which is now the punchline. The the commune was in western Colorado, a little a little too close to Utah, mm. just across the state line from Utah there, near Moab. Mm-hmm. Mm. Out in the desert country. My sister-in-law, who's not really my sister-in-law, but she is. No, my brother's uh, significant okay. other. Gotcha. Um, I, I believe she spent part of her childhood on a commune. And then I found out, oddly at some point, that a person that I knew completely separately, that I'd known a long time before I knew her, was uh, living on that commune when he was a baby. And she used to like change his diapers and chase him around. They have diapers yeah. on the commune? Yeah, yeah. yeah they, they do have diapers on the commune. I'm sure that they are, you know, cloth diapers. Oh, yeah. They were cloth, and we had to wash them by hand. Yeah. Because there was no running water. Yeah. Or electricity. Ooh. But it was not the same commune that you grew up on. So I had a similar experience like that. I was in the Boy Scouts. <laughs> <laughs> we allowed gay people, though, in our commune. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. And there, there you were no go. Badges. Acting like Mr. Fab. <laughs> yes. Now, wait a minute. And it wasn't gay. It was by curious. <laughs> You know, but see, I thought... And I think Media Chick started that. Plus, I, I was not down with Mr. Fab's uh, homophobia. Oh, yeah. But then again, I understand that he's just trying to irk me, probably. Yes. So you you specifically, you actually. Personally. Yes, even though he doesn't know me. But he, he probably does. followed you on to Plurk and got yeah, pissed he, off. That's he, what he, I did. He does, like to, <laughs> he does like to irk people. He's one of those guys who likes time to go to the left. Yeah. Yes. Clearly, mm-hmm. just to piss me off. Clearly, he does, and he's probably really happy right now once he hears this recording. Going, they love me. They hate me. They love me. They hate me. <laughs> I bet he probably even wears a bicycle helmet. Probably, yeah. That. Mm-hmm. Steve, I, are I'm you a wearing bicy- a bicycle helmet right now? Yeah, Steve, do you ride a bicycle? I think Steve may have gone are to your office. <laughs> are you asleep, Steve? I think he oh, I'm on mute. Sorry, I was um, <laughs> making lots of noise in the background. So I put it on mute. It's okay. Do you wear? He's treating you... this like a damn corporate conference call, right? <laughs> oh, I put it on mute. I got to, don't want to disturb the. Uh, <laughs> Do you ride a bicycle? Yeah, so just doing a PowerPoint. Do you uh, ride a bicycle? Background. You're only half listening, yeah, aren't you? I've got, I've got you? Two. You do. Do you wear a helmet? Mm, no, I don't. But he feels no, bad about it. Yeah, he he's not mocking no. me for wearing one. No. No, I, I, I don't feel bad about it at all. Um, I'm I'm grown a grown adult. I should be able to uh, go without one, shouldn't I? I think that's I'm going to give a good example. As long as you pay for all your health care out of your pocket, I'm fine with that. Oh, okay. <laughs> the dog. <laughs> <laughs> but I was just thinking about Mr. Fab, and you know, I don't want to stand yeah. in his way from getting a life-ending head injury. No, I don't really want to pay for it either. Though. It's his head. Exactly. He know? should be able to do whatever he wants with it, as long as I don't have to pay for it. I like I like bicycle. I have a really great bicycle helmet. It's pink. It's bright pink, and it has stickers on it. And it's yeah. The, I think we covered this pretty it's thoroughly. It's pink like my bike. but this is the, multiple podcasts. This is the nostalgia episode. This is oh, the nostalgia, right. and besides, this is a Portland. And hey, remember how great that really episode Portland. was when Steve called in from Skype. And remember how great that these? episode was when uh, Doctor Normal got drunk <laughs> and called Steve. <laughs> and called Skype. Steve at eight yeah. o'clock in the morning. And Time we'll- is moving to the left. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, man, that would be a great progressive. thing. Progressive uh, theme. You woke Steve up. Let him talk. Yeah, I know. No, I, I don't need a cycle helmet. I can get one from the Doop. One of those. Uh, there we go. It doesn't strap on though. But it could. Oh. It could be a strap on. Think about it. Oh, but it. you know what? I could just get a roll of duct tape and I can tape it to your head. <laughs> <laughs> so is it a fake, fake hard hat? It's a. It's like a construction hard hat. Yeah. So, like, you know, if a steel girder falls on your head, you'll be fine, right? Yeah. Just bounce yeah, right that, off. That happens, happens when you're cycling. Yeah, all the time. I've had lots of steel girders fall Am- on me. Especially in Amsterdam <laughs> with all that construction you got going on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I have I have a question. I have a question. Can you raise your hand? <laughs> Sorry. Yes. Yeah. Oh, Cammy, in oh. the back. Oh, <laughs> So you wear a bicycle helmet? I do wear a bicycle helmet when did, I ride. Did you wear a helmet before you had daughters? Before you had children? You know, I did 
partially because I, I've been hit by cars twice on a bike. Oh. And it, it made me think a little bit about it because it hurts. That's when you got to hurt. A car. It does. I got hit by a bus, actually. Which oh, hurt. Ouch. It didn't hurt as bad as the other thing. But. The, the car hurt more than the... Yeah, I was able to kind of slam into the side of the bus and mm-hmm. it wasn't quite as bad as being hit by the car. Ouch. So. Yes. Uh, so are your daughters really named Bunny and Zara? No, they are not named Bunny and Zara. Because you are not a hippie living on a commune. Exactly. <laughs> and I sort of feel bad because, you know, Bunny seems like one of those names that you would name your kid if you were living on a hippie commune, mm-hmm. and I don't, and so I don't really want to infect her with that. But um, I decided, and it's probably ludicrous, but I would keep their secret identities, much like Dr. Normal over here. Don't say anything. Um, on the interwebs by calling them by their... Uh, Ron Mexico names. We're all familiar with the Ron Mexico naming scheme, aren't we? Absolutely. Yes. I wonder if Kay might like that because she's grown um, tired. Fluffy Cedarcrest. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> she's grown very Cedar tired Crest of being Mexico. called uh, yeah. Kay. She wants a real name. Not my, your porn my pet- star name. Not your porn star name. Yeah. No, not your porn star name. My, this my, is a name my generator. My name in the street I grew up on. This Fluff, oh, Fluffy yeah. Cedarcrest. That is kind of a Ron Mexico name. Though. Or it would be... Um, Oh, what was it? Or, well, what you should all you need to do is go to the, Dieter Cedar. <laughs> that sounds awful, <laughs> but it's a great porn name if you. Oh yeah, yeah. But we're talking about your daughter on the interwebs. Oh, I thought we were talking about porn names now. No, oh. we're I'm not sorry. I've already moved the conversation. Names. Can we go back to ADD for a second? Mm. Um, <laughs> can't you just visit the Ron Mexico name generator and put her name in and get her Ron Mexico name? I will. And maybe if she likes it, I'll I'll change her name <clears throat> on the interwebs. Oh, that. so that's actually a site. Yeah. She, yeah, she doesn't. She's grown tired of being called K. She thinks it sucks because everyone like else K has an interesting great. name. Well, uh, Bunny is Bunny Burkina Faso, mm-hmm. rolls right off the tongue. Mm-hmm, Love that. Mm-hmm. And uh, Zara Jordan, that was such a good name. I considered changing your name for real to it. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I was like Zara Jordan. I like that. Fantastic. And uh, Twigs, my wife was uh, Chloe Isle of. Oh, Man. we're we're jumping ahead. We haven't gotten to Twigs so, yet. Oh, She's on the Steve, list. Steve, what's your Ron Mexico name and what's your porn star name? I'm, I'm Rob Rob Samoa. That's not Rob, bad at all. Rob Samoa. Rob Samoa. Yeah. Nice. I don't know what my porn star name is. I need to find. Oh, a I porn thought that was star. your so, por- so Sam t- Rob Noah. So the porn star name is either your pet and the first street that you grew up on, or your middle name and the street that you grew up on. Got that? Uh, oh, oh, God, Toby Greenfield. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Very nice. My, my, my porn star name would be either Ginger Shields or Don Shields. Hello, uh, it's the Doc Normal Hour, and I'm here with two porn stars, Ginger Shields and Toby Greenfield, and they're going to talk about their new uh, DVD um, called uh, European Vacation. <clears throat> In uncomfortable away. places. Well, my Ron Mexico name is Estelle Chad. Nice, Estelle Chad. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Actually, that's my that's my um, maiden Ron Me- Ron Mexico name. <laughs> that I was using that. my maiden name. <laughs> you try can, mine. You can play around with it a little bit if you can throw your middle name in there. You know, if you don't like what you got. Oops. Hold on. I'm not. I'm not using the the name that they made for K. <laughs> it sounds too much like a porn name. It's not. It's not good. I like how this is like just some sort of legitimate name catcher. So <laughs> it's actually. actually. Um, it's part of the. Um, it's part of the plurk interface now. Exactly. Oh, oh, look at the headless rat! It's fantastic. No, it's not really a headless rat on, on the Ron Mexico name generator. Um, you, your name it's would actually be Ra- a useful <laughs> internet application. <laughs> your name would be Raymond Italy. That's good. Huh? Raymond <laughs> Italy. Now, now, if that's not a porn name, I don't know what is. Ray Italy. Yeah. It's close to mine. I'm Dante Vatican. Oh, jeez. Dante Which is nice. Vatican. <laughs> I didn't know the Vatican was a country, but I guess so. Uh, Sounds like we could be two B-movie stars. <laughs> Ray Dante, Italy and Dante, Dante Vatican. Vatican in. Okay, if I use my actual Bullets name, my married name would be Bridget China. That's nice. Yeah. Also starring Bridget China. <laughs> this if week's I put episode. My full name into the wrong, if I put my full name into the wrong Mexico generator, I become Tommy Grease. Tommy, Tommy Grease? Grease. <laughs> yeah. Why are they all last? Why are they all countries? 
Oh, the, good names. They're all countries. I mean, that's the whole Ron Mexico algorithm. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Oh, if I use my full name, all three words, it's Missy Quebec. That's a good Missy one. Quebec. Ooh. That is a porn name <laughs> if totally ever weird. I heard one. Missy Quebec. So, um, mm. I have a question for the hostess. Uh huh. Do the guests get to take bathroom breaks ever? No. <laughs> <laughs> if the guest could find the bathroom. Is sure. it over there where the cat's gone? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Follow the cat. Yes. Go upstairs. Yay. Find, find, go through the little hallway. Take it away, Steve. Off the dining yeah, exactly. room. And go into the, the room with the blue walls. And now everybody knows where their bathroom yes. is. If there are not blue walls, please do not pee in the room. <laughs> Go up the bat pole. <laughs> I'm still typing. So, Steve, are you still awake? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm still awake. I'm just trying to find... Ah, oh, there it is. Strange love on Ustream TV. <laughs> uh, Hi, Steve. I'm waving at I, you. I'm still feeling really... I, and I'm just in disbelief. Well, I, the that question is, how often, how often do you go to bed and leave Skype forwarding uh, calls to your your cell phone or you just kind of it's always on so I'm also I became the partial security officer at work by accident I think I said yes oh sometime so someone said blah 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 security blah 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 alarms going off but yeah yeah and then suddenly someone woke me up really early in the morning and said uh, you have to come over to juice now and you know check the building I'm like oh what <laughs> Shit, what did I say yes to? I must pay attention more, really? is what I thought. Yeah, I just yeah. say no to everything. No. Yeah. Uh-uh. How is Juice doing? We or didn't, we didn't maybe. Really, we, didn't really, we, we didn't really talk about that. How's, how are things going over there at Juice? It's top secret. Oh, uh, okay. Hush, hush. No, it's getting there. It's going to be the, the new, new Juice. It's not an invite beta anymore. I mean, it's open, right? No, no. Yeah, it's open. But it's, it's just changing... That's public. It's changing to sort of web and plugins. So. Huh. so it's everything that goes with that, which is a lot. And peeling off all the duct tape and putting some real stuff in place. Because, you know, we went, we made the um, the client in about a month, and then we had it sort of streaming peer-to-peer in four seconds as well. So it was very impressive in the beginning how quick that went. And then there's the, the real work to do afterwards, you know. But we've done, we've done well. We've just been forgotten, I think, by a lot of people. We're coming back. Did, did you still got the old guy with the cups? What? Oh, God, him. Real what? TV. What's his name? I've got no idea. Oh, I thought you said Tim. I thought you said, oh, God, Tim. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, is no, it? no, him. <laughs> oh, yeah, you said him. him. Yeah, we can put... Cups into the Ron Mexico generator and see what. Exactly. <laughs> your name. So we'll just call him Tim. So what's Tim's deal, right? He's got the cups and. Tim with the cups. Yeah, and he's and he's. Yeah. Is I that had, still running or is I that? Had a boyfriend in high school named uh, Tim. He liked cups. No. Did you like that <laughs> oh, ad? No, that, hey, that's not Tim. That's Bruno. I can't even say that. Gaudaloup. <laughs> Gua- Guadalupe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Guadalupe. Bruno Gaudaloupe. Yeah. Is it Guadalupe? Wait, yeah, Guadalupe. Probably. Or Guadalupe, depending on where you're from. Oh, yeah. We're, ta- right. we're talking about uh, Guadalupe, the guy Bruno. in the juice commercial. The cop guy with the with cups. With the cups? You know. Yeah. Yes. No TV. Idea. Real TV. No like idea. the TV yeah. you yeah, want. It's Bruno. It's Bruno Guadalupe. Yeah. Change his name. Yeah. yeah. Are those ads still running? You got some new ones. Or is that top secret? Ah. Uh, there's, loads of, there's loads of new stuff coming up. So. Oh, okay. If he told it's you, he'd have secret. to kill you. Yeah, I would. It's uh, just too expensive to well, get he, on the plane. To yeah, he's going to kill me kill anyway. I mean, <laughs> he doesn't need to kill me by telling me something. He's going to kill me anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Someday he'll get here for like, you know, we had Ignite lunch 2.0, 27. <laughs> really nice, well-dressed. You know, guys, gonna no, it, it'll up. actually be somebody you know. They'll have a smile on their face. Yep. And they'll invite you into a car to go somewhere. Oh, yeah. no, I don't drive, so it won't be me. I was like, yeah, no, I don't drive. Never mind. No. Mm-mm. You don't have to drive. They're going to kill you. I could just invite him into the car. They don't usually kill the person somewhere. who's driving. But he knows. No, I was going to say I was going to be that person that oh, invited I see. Him, But 
you he don't knows drive. he won't get in the car with me. He knows I don't drive. There could be a driver. There could be a driver. That's true. I could get a driver. Could be a taxi. Steve, you could be the driver. <laughs> now we're yeah. plotting. We're plotting how to kill your husband now. <laughs> yeah, everyone ah. knows I won't actually kill my husband. Does every show can I have end, a end that way? Fake mustache. I'm kind of, oh yes, you can have a fake mustache. Oh, he'll never recognize you. I'll wear a pink wig. It'll be fantastic. Mm. I just gave away our disguises. Now it's starting to sound like a Jonathan Demi movie. Oh, there you go. We'll have to offer him something free, you know, a free condo if you. There's a possibility. No, that won't get him. That won't get him. Um, yeah. Ooh, ooh, a never before heard unreleased Frank Zappa recording from a secret yeah. live concert with Henry Kissinger. <laughs> yeah, you could say well, he, you're his daughter. He was just talking, Jonathan Demi. I, I would just say Jamie Gum in his van. Hey, can you help me out? Can you can you just come here and help me out? I, 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 I you would get tired. You would get in. Of yeah, course, you, of course. You're stupid. It was uh, God. What's that actor's name? Great actor who played him too. Yeah. Um, See, this is the so mind full scary. of trivia. There's a there's the no, service on. online that's useful called Google that you can use to look stuff I've up. I've heard like of that. Yeah. I am song. It has a song. IMDb. Or IMDb. Used to be. I, which, I use IMDb for this kind of thing. Which is almost as useful. as Actually, work. it's the it's he's he was the guy who uh, plays the police chief on Correct. Monk now. I love him. I just I yeah, have a first hard time, time I ever saw him was in a fantastic NBC produced television show called Crime Story. Oh, he was so good in that with his slicked back hair and his fancy shoes. Yep. Which involved the exploits of of Ray Luka. Ted Levine. Ted Levine. That's who we're Ted talking Levine. about. Ted Levine. You don't know Crime Story? No, I was thinking of. I know I'm gonna. That's not the one with Leslie in. Nielsen. No. No. From Airplane. No, no, that no, that was uh, <laughs> Police Story. No. Police Story. Yeah. No, this is Crime Story. Okay. Different. That's with the other the side. Guy who just got arrested at the airport. <laughs> the Muslim Ray Liotta? guy. No. Uh, oh wow. <laughs> the. Uh, I'm uh, reading stuff here. <laughs> Sorry. What are you is reading? Is it chat room? They, they're sadistically keeping me off the internet while they're interviewing me, so that I know nothing. Yeah, so I know it's nothing. awesome. Crime Story is not on Hulu. That's sad. That doesn't surprise me. There's not really that much on Hulu. Maybe it's on Juiced. No, there's some stuff on Hulu. Yeah, what is on? Oh, I was uh, well, we can't. Juiced. We can't. This is the problem. We can't ask Steve anything about Juiced. Because it's all secret. We can. Ask. But I can look. We I can. I can answers. just type yeah. it up. I can just like go. talking to. I don't know. I'll nod. There you go. Yes, that would be right. helpful. Let's see. I'm uh, waiting. I'll nod. Do you, I'm right singing. This is my juice song. Do, 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 do. Um, you have no, a juice song? No, it's the same as the Google song. It's not on Juiced either. Really? No. Uh, are you Are you going to tell Steve you, you, you use Hulu? I think I just did. Really? Oops. I think I just said. Oops. I can look as I immediately go, oh, look at Hulu. But no, I'm now. I'm, I, right now I have Juiced open on my site, but it doesn't have Crime Story. Do you hate Hulu? Uh, Do I hate Hulu? No, I'm asking Steve. Oh. Does Steve hate Hulu? No, not at all. We, uh, we, we love them. We actually got someone to start working for us who came from Hulu. It was very nice. <laughs> nice of them. They're sort so, of so a, we like. Oh, okay. They generate new employees for you. Yeah. Very good. Sort of like a training ground. Yeah. <laughs> now, see, if only, <laughs> if, only, if only Juice had Doctor Who shows or, or say... Yeah. <laughs> or say um, Torchwood. Yeah, we would have done, but you know, we didn't sort of. You know, BBC wanted to go and do their own stuff. Yes, yeah, stinking BBC. No, BBC is very tight with their shows. BBC snotty. Keeping my Doctor Who away well, from me. Uh, but keeping my. If if you were in the UK, you can watch all the BBC shows online. Do I look yeah. like I'm in the UK? Exactly. What, what, We're talking about my problem. needs here, what about not the, the needs Commonwealth, of that country. Like if you're in India. Can you watch? Or Canada? That's a very good question. Or Bermuda? That's a very, very good question. Some of these countries are much closer uh, to us. I'd like to say something here, but I can't say it. We'll see what happens in the next six months, but it'll be interesting. interesting. Is, is the UK going to disappear from the face <gasps> oh, of the earth? you know what? Yeah. <laughs> it's, they're going <laughs> to switch on the Haldron Collider and it's gone. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Do you know what I just found on Juiced, though? A bunch of Tom Waits videos. Ooh, I'm a big Tom there Waits fan. There we go. Fan. So are we. I can imitate him, too, a little okay, bit. Okay, go. Hey, oh, what do you think of the quality? We just changed the. Um, I haven't. I haven't hit play yet. I haven't. Hit, but one oh. of my favorite songs. I love. I love the fact that this podcast has gone full circle. We have gone from. Yeah. We've gone around a couple. Of times we've gone uh, tech. 
After Hours, and now welcome once again to Strange Love Tech. Well, we should. Yeah. Is Juiced run on an open source platform? Yep. There we have it. There we go. Oh, 100% I have full to, circle. I have to install the Juiced player. Yes, you oh. do. Is I it? see. Yeah. I think this is why I did Hulu and not Juiced. If I if I install this Juiced player on my computer, is it going to eat my computer? Is it a Microsoft no. Silverlight application? No, it's not. It's Phew. ours. We we write everything ourselves. It's incredible. You know, if we need a wheel, uh, we'll, we'll get six <laughs> rocket scientists and invent one. It's um, amazing. So I think I think your reference there is if you want to watch the Olympics online, isn't it? Could be. I think if you want to watch the Summer Olympics, you uh, have to install Silverlight. I was lured into it by the NBA.com website, yep. which yep. suckered me. Yep. They made it sound like you could watch the game live. Right. If you downloaded uh, Microsoft Silverlight, but it was, it a, was a lie. It was a pretty. I, I did it on one system that then crashed later. <laughs> Wonder why? But but it was actually very. It was even quicker than Flash. It was oh yeah, just like it was, zip, 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 in, in like a little. I'm not really complaining, know. but it did me, yeah. make me feel a little bit dirty. Oh man, I'm getting lovely information from the chat room about the Juiced uh, Juiced <laughs> app. Is it a Java app? I don't know, but but Media Chick says it's very light and problem free. And Blicky says it's based on Mozilla. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Zool Runner. Zool, Zool Runner. Zool Runner, that, yeah. I should put that into um, the Ron Mexico name generator and see what comes out. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't that already go through <laughs> the Ron Mexico name generator? Did Juiced go through the Ron Mexico? <laughs> yeah. Juiced yeah, how Israel. do you find those names? It's really hard. I mean, in Holland, it's someone's name. I've, I've just opened the window, so there's loads of birds here. Hopefully, um, oh, I heard the birds there. last time. Hello, birdies. Yeah. Oh, these are in Denmark. I was in Holland last oh, time. Oh, different birds. You're in Denmark. Never mind birds. Yeah. Fuck you, birds. I don't need yeah. those birds. Unnecessary Wait, you're, birds. You're in Denmark right now? Yeah. Um, you know, when I was headhunted to Juiced, I had a house and a life here, and I was sort of in charge of this I had my own media department with Nordisk Film and they said they presented the idea and I said I'm moving I'm coming down I didn't think about it too much and I sort of moved to Holland I thought, ah I've got a house in Denmark and I've also I'm a divorcee I've got two kids here so every third week I come and stay here for yeah. a few days and then the house stands empty for a while and I pay lots of money and I go back to Holland you know so normal stuff I think sounds like a good it's life it's a start up yeah Where's uh where where are you about there? Are you are you Copenhagen in, outside near, central? Yeah, or? near right central. I mean Valby. I mean you can look on Google Maps. Um, they have a again? map interface. Huh? They have a map interface. Just kidding. Sorry. Right. Map? Yeah. <laughs> they, they one, I think. Where is it? Out, out, just outside of Copenhagen, right? One of the. Yeah, Valby. Well, not, it's yeah. not. I would say I think Copenhagen really right next to the. Charlesburg Beer Factory. Oh, yep. that's handy. Yep. Yeah, so you can do the tour and everything. Do they have um, hey. beer, beer running in a tap to your home? Yeah, you can get them at hot and cold. If you want hot to. and cold. <laughs> <Danish like it. laughs> yeah. now, the best place to Danish go like when in Denmark and Copenhagen is the Elephant Beer. That Elephant, um, what is that place? It's up in, uh, it's a bar too. They have the tap. The elephant beer. Have you been there? Yeah, I mean that that that's the the place with the elephants. If that's what you're talking about. Yeah. Like, oh, if you say it well, that it's like with it, it's like it's like <laughs> with the girls. Um, and then they wear like lingerie or something when they're pouring the beer. I mean, it's not. That too, sounds Bavarian. Too saucy, but. Drindles. You've never been there. No, you, I should go there. I should go on the tour, but I, yeah. I mean, I'm not going to take my kids around there. No. Well, it's a beer place. Also, yeah, don't, no. don't take them down east together. Yeah, oh, yeah. I was just the east together. So, who knows Copenhagen? I was there not too long ago. I actually went on a trip yeah? to Amsterdam and Copenhagen. And My I, God. I spent the night in Copenhagen without a place to sleep because I decided I didn't want to pay 400 euros for six hours of sleep. I didn't know you then, otherwise you could have borrowed my house. I know, it's crazy. Yeah. But thanks to Twitter, now we know each other. So I spent the whole yeah. night in this, uh, it was a lot like backspace. The railway station. <laughs> no, it was near the railway station, but it was like a, you know, internet cafe gaming place. 
Guests and audience members of Strange Love Live, when in Copenhagen, stay at Steve's. <laughs> <laughs> Bed and breakfast. Yeah, I'll Twitter that. I'll have like a thousand people wrecking my place. Yeah, yeah, really. Call him anytime, day Dead or night, kick. to set that up. <laughs> <laughs> Just Skype. Steve. <laughs> day or night. Poor Steve. Yeah. It forwards to his mobile. <laughs> Now we know the secret. We can get hold of Steve anytime, any place. Good morning. He just Yay. needs to turn off his Skype to keep us away. <laughs> well, you, ah, you know why we had to call brings, Steve? Here's why we yeah, had to call that, him. That brings, no, that go brings ahead. us into what Bram was saying. He, he keeps talking about polyphasic sleep all the time. Exactly. Those are big words. And that, yeah, no, that, that no, I'm not that with it. I'm getting tired. <laughs> we were going to do, uh, me and Rick were going to do polyphasic sleep for 24 hours and then Twitter at the same time. What I'm is sure it? Get What's polyphasic sleep? So, so you set up this rhythm. You sleep 20 minutes every four hours, and that means you can sleep two hours a day. Hmm. And it works. Um, I really like Until sleeping. Until you go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy yeah, I sleep. I enjoy like huge chunks of sleep. I think sleep so, is great. So the, the point there is that you go into the proper, in the 20 minutes that you sleep, you go into the proper phase. You go into the proper whatever REM or that... I think it's the REM section state. in between yeah. REM state. That's really what your body needs. The other crap, yeah. getting to sleep and stuff, isn't really. Well, although I thought I read a study that that part, the transition phases, were as important as the actual phase. There's the dreaming part. Well, that's the yeah. The <laughs> real, the real. I can see on the chat that. everyone's talking about polyphasic sleep now. So. <laughs> see, I just don't think that would work for me because. Unlike some people I know who sleep because they have to get sleep, I actually really enjoy the entire process of going to sleep and of being asleep and of what dreaming. What about putting on your jammies? <laughs> I don't sleep in pajamas. You know, I, I, I thought of writing a script or, uh-huh. or a concept for, for a movie about, you know, a sci-fi movie where, and, you know, I bet you it's been done. I'm sure somebody will be like, oh, I read They've that They've all this been book. done, right? Yeah, exactly. Where, you know, scientists invent you know, a pill scientists. or something with giant and, vibrators and you actually don't have to sleep or you, you sleep very little you can get all your sleep done in an hour or something like that and how crazy that would change everything in society I mean if you really think about it what if you like think okay, how much more TV we could watch <laughs> I mean here's your pill <laughs> now now you only say only have to sleep an hour or right. you know whatever you, you're good. I mean all that extra time. It doesn't because really it was, sound so different from my life now, except for the pill part. Right, but yeah, you know. Well, how much do you sleep? <laughs> Question number five. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Ask Bram. He's the one who's always awake when I am. Yeah, what, oh, what is it? I G. Mean, Walter said something very interesting. You guys keep me up at night, by the way. Sorry. He said, okay. as a former Sorry. paramedic in downtown PDX, uh, he lived polyphasic for four years. He survived, but his marriage didn't. Ooh. What is that? Oh. Um, I could say for one that when the Twitter people keep my husband up on Twitter all night, and he only gets Whoa. like four hours now of we're sleep, personal. I tend to wake up in the morning and go, "Stupid Twitter people! You need to get wow. more sleep, honey." Boy, that's gonna go around the blogosphere for a while. It's okay. Yeah. That's some nice. Gossip. And now I'm gonna actually try to keep him up. Cami exactly. chaos gets crankier about sleep than anything else. Sleep, I love sleep. Apparently but I, you'll have I to want, send links to porn or something. I want yeah. everyone else <laughs> to love sleep too and it makes me sad that people are just like, oh God, now I have to sleep. I, I think love, sleeping I is good. Sleep too. Sleeping is good. I slept till 11 in the morning the other day. It was the first time in eight years. Oh. Wow, that's nice. Was Steve nice. was going to do that today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I realized why we yeah. had to call him though because we sound like a morning radio... Uh, show. Exactly. And so we needed someone who was mourning for Exactly. We needed That's a mourning person. You, Steve. Did we get that new traffic report? <laughs> <laughs> Although it's we need more sound effects. <laughs> well, up here in the chopper, it's looking like the i5. Technically, it's Sorry, morning. Sorry, too much WKRP just, in Cincinnati. I just realized what time it is. It's technically morning here, too. Yes. It's 1232. It's t- there should be a sound effect, right? Oh, Media Chick loves sleeping too. See, I I have new reasons to love Media Chick. Maybe you guys day. can sleep at Camp Naughty. Oh, we, there will be sleeping yeah, yeah, at Camp Naughty. That's gonna be crazy. There will be sleeping hey, at I'm Camp gonna, Naughty. I'm gonna recruit. I'm gonna go on a recruitment drive for this polyphasic sleep experiment. I mean, 
Rick's in. Who else is in? I'm, I'll probably get Bram yeah. as well. Yeah, Rick and Bram. Those You're are the really going to try that? Up. That's so crazy. Yeah. I, oh, my problem. Oh my God, I was thinking oh. of a day. You see what yeah. <laughs> yes, you guys can get on the show a week into. Rick wants to know if about a week into it, uh, you can both get on the show. The answer is absolutely yeah, yes. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Super. We'll hey, do a good. we'll do a show about it. it does, it doesn't wait yeah. a minute. Doesn't polyphasic sleeping? I mean, if you're doing four and twenty four and twenty, I mean, this essentially induces narcolepsy, Oops, right? Because you're like into your four hours and then you just not off in the middle of a conversation or something in the middle of the day. That's the hard part. How do you how do you guarantee that you're going to fall asleep every four hours? I'd have that trouble. Dude, oh, if yeah. I yeah. if I didn't get a full night's sleep and I only got to sleep for 20 minutes, I guarantee you it would be keeping me awake for four well, hours. There's one good the thing about this because they say naps during the day are very good for you. I took a two-hour mm. nap today. <laughs> That's what I hate. I wish I could... I would be fine if I could just take a nap during, like in the afternoon, like right after lunch. Sometimes I wake up worse off, though. You know that feeling when you really? nap too long? You probably don't. <laughs> I love napping. <laughs> you don't wake up and you're like, is it morning? And then the rest of the day is sort of weird. If I wake up on my own, it's cool. <laughs> if someone else wakes me up, though, I become... Monstrous. Yeah, monstrous is word. And it's been like that ever since I was a child. When I was a little kid, if I woke oh, up from... I have to correct... Um... Uh-oh. I have, to, I have to correct G. Walter. What? What, what happened? Yeah. Um, he said Portland drugstore cowboy, and he. Uh, wait, wait a minute. What is it? Um, this is Portland wasn't drugstore cowboy filmed here. That's the narcolepsy tie. Oh in. no, the narcolepsy. And the narcolepsy tie-in is my own private eye. Exactly. Thank you, Mike. Which filmed was also Portland. filmed in Portland. Yes. And also by Gus Van Zandt. But. That's right. That's right. And actually, a fantastic. Movie. The best film about narcolepsy ever made. Yeah, and a great movie, and a great it film a great, about. It wasn't about Portland narcolepsy before. <laughs> before <laughs> featuring um, narcolepsy. Now featuring narcolepsy. A, a good, a good view of like Broadway and all that. Right before they urban renewal and they renovated it, filmed at the Besides. Governor Hotel. Right. Oh, and in, you corrected inside. the Which wrong hasn't person. Changed. I thought it was G. Walter. No, it was Rick. Now he's mad. Now you've got G. Walter, the ex Marine. Oh no! You know what? You. G. Walter's not. No one corrected. No one corrected him. Oh, that's right. Him. No, it wasn't G. I'm Walter. Just, you know, I'm just saying. Right. Cause, Sorry, G. Walter. Yeah, and I know because he 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 actually watched them film. You're right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, that killed it. No, he said thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but he is loading up his rifle right now. Yeah, you're in trouble. Really? He's a tough guy, G. <laughs> Walter. You don't want to mess with him. You've seen him at Beard and Blog, haven't you? I've never seen you at Beer and Blog, actually. Yeah, because it's wow. Fridays. And Remember that discussion Fridays we had earlier about babysitters? Oh, yeah, yeah, my babysitter. My I've taken kids. beautiful babysitter. You can take kids to Beer and Blog. Yeah. That's why I figured out Dumpy Dumpy was a great green, babysitter. The green dra- well, it's the green dragon. If you sit on the side they sit on, there's kids. Yeah. Is it green dragon? Uh, yeah. It's sure. like a McMinimins. You can yeah, it didn't except seem better. very kid. Oh, they have me. French fries. You can there. draw on the tables with chalk. With exactly, what are you thinking? Remember, Miss B and I chalkboarding the table. Sure. Miss B isn't a child, is she? There, there are times. <laughs> there are times that she can be childlike. Yes. Man, these guys and hate pouty. me in the chat room now. They're all like, "No, no, it's okay, it's fine. We're gonna kill this." Son of a bitch. <laughs> Especially Rick, he can be really tough. Exactly. It'll be like <laughs> he's a mean guy. <laughs> Yeah, um, I can put you in the hospital. I can put you down, <laughs> save you, and take you to the hospital right. all in one. Doctor Norma yeah. was considering all going to ignite Portland. He won't be there this time. Yeah, exactly. He's gonna, you know, stay away, <laughs> far away. Well, as we do the podcast, they'll all find out I'm a real jerk. <laughs> <laughs> if, but you're a jerk. Yeah, exactly. And you're likable. Um, yeah, you are. That's so oh, yes. mm-hmm. like Jerry Lewis. That's uh, de- yeah. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I yes. don't mean to be insulting. Well, my as host, as we yeah, keep let's doing, not compare him to Jerry Lewis. As we keep though. doing the show, oh, I will Jerry sound Lewis. like Jerry. All right, <laughs> we've got <laughs> one million four hundred. Just put it on the board. Look, I have I have the Wikipedia page on polyphasic sleep. Excellent. We can plan out the whole experiment. Okay. Is it really four hours with twenty minutes? Let's see. Yeah, um, and then we have to have the twenty minutes at the same time, and then there's no more time zones. That's the whole idea. We get rid of them. We're all GMT. Refers yeah. to the practice Not of sleeping GMT. multiple times in a 24-hour period, usually more than two. 
in contrast to biphasic sleep and does not imply biphasic. any particular schedule. Oh, polyphasic See, also, is no segmented nose. sleep or sleep optimal amount. So polyphasic is no schedule. You, Usually more than You may two. be talking about biphasic sleep. Yeah, biphasic sleep. Oh my god. Yeah. Mixed up the terminology. That's it's really Bram is who mixed it up. Didn't, yeah, didn't we have this this in the last podcast? The uh, Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Strange Love where Cami Chaos reads Google to you. <laughs> Hold on. She She'll next, be reading the entire contents of Google. Next, she'll be talking... And every page it leads to. Reading about pages <laughs> about cock rings, diabetes, and Seattle. Napping in one. extreme situations. In crises and other extreme conditions, people may not be able to achieve the recommended eight hours of sleep per day. Systematic napping may be considered necessary in such situations. Dr. Claudio Stampi, as a result of his interest in long-distance solo boat racing... Oh my god. This I is for real. This is really This is really the wiki page. Dr. Claudio Stampy. <laughs> did, did he put that through the Ron Mexico generator? No, we're going to we're going to stop and we're going to go over to the Dr. Claudio Stampy page. Please do. <laughs> oh, let me I'm of sorry. Course. Let me dial up some Dr. Well, uh, oh, 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 here we go. Stampy Having been a long distance solo boat racer myself, <laughs> I know him well. Dr. Claudio Stampy is the founder in 1997 director and sole proprietor of the Chronobiology Research Institute, which he runs from his home in Newton, Massachusetts. <laughs> he is a researcher of the use of short naps in extreme conditions. Originally from Brazil, he earned a doctorate in medicine, 1977, from the University of Bologna in Italy. Bologna, oh, yeah. Bolo- Bologna. Bologna. Is that? Yeah. yeah. He later got earned a, got more degree specialized degrees in neurology and biomedical technologies, 1983 and 84. Oh, yeah. Sing it out. Stampy became interested in chronobiology in younger years when he noticed that a number of his fellow long distance sailboat racing comrades (laughs) adopted a systematic polyphasic sleep pattern with minimal impairment. Stampy is an Love avid me, sailor. Please, Stampy. He participated in two global sail races. I need sleep, Stampy. <laughs> Give me sleep, I Stampy. I can't go on. I'm too tired. I haven't gotten enough naps. You're, oh, yeah. You're the Barack Obama of Google readers. <laughs> or is that Wikipedia? I'm sorry. No, this is Wikipedia. Yeah, okay, yeah. Sorry. Wikipedia. Sing it, Wikipedia. I know this song. What's this song? I know this song. It's a gospel song. I'm done singing. It's gospel song number two. In There's only two. They all sound the same, you know. Ooh, live local geeky bacon teas? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I believe just... she's now just surfing the <laughs> internet randomly. The no, Lord, I went. I'm back in the chat bacon. room. I'm back in the chat room, and Bram says, by the way, is there a possibility that we can get the live local geeky bacon teas? I don't know. I don't know what this means, but I want a bacon tea that's live. A live bacon tea. Live bacon tea. Wait, what's live in uh, the bacon? I don't know. Well, I don't want the bacon to be alive. Cause that would just a be a pig. Yeah. yeah. That's just a pig. And pigs are not, pig. they're not comfortable to wear, no. I've found. Except for the little ones. In a kind of stole arrangement. Ugh. Are you they're a vegetarian? <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was wrong the minute I said it. Oh my! Um, I was a bit. That's the sound, stupidest thing I've said all night. That'll be the soundbite that we just put in the in the keyboards, and everyone's like, "Are you a vegetarian?" It was nicely done, by the way. I was a vegetarian for ten months when I was a teenager, to yeah. spite my father, basically. You know, um, is, is that the unofficial way to say, "Gosh, we should start wrapping the show up"? Yeah. Are you a vegetarian? You can start playing it, <laughs> exactly. gradually Let's increasing see. the volume. But no, here's a oh, here, we, we, no. There's a question I really oh, want to get to. Jesus, she still has the. Does, <laughs> no, I only got to three of them. Does, we don't have to do all ten. You know? No, but there's one I want. Does twigs really exist? Does twigs really exist? Oh yeah. That's interesting. You know, actually, I saw twigs tweet a couple of times today. I saw her tweet once. Yeah. Yeah. With, without any, and she's in a different city. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you sound suspicious. Mm-hmm. I I only believe she exists because I know someone who says they've met her. Who is that? Miss Burroughs. Miss Burroughs. Miss Burroughs met Twigs. Mm-hmm. Hmm. At the pizza party. 
Wait, you're married to... Oh, at the pizza party. Yes, many. Well, Media Chick met Twigs. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. Media Chick didn't tell me Even Steve met though. Twigs. Is she on Plurk? <laughs> <laughs> Soundbite number two from the show. <laughs> nice one. Very nice. Yeah, we, that's right. She was at uh, she was at the pizza party. We need a laugh track for the show. Don't ooh, we? Yeah, really. ooh. we can't provide it for ourselves. Claudio Stampy's Ron Mexico name, <laughs> provided by Bram, Thank is you. Victor Madagascar. That's that, fantastic. I wish that were my. That, I'm going to use that one. That is absolutely yeah. fantastic. I can't be Dante that like, Vatican no, that forever. That sounds like a Bond villain. It does, yeah. doesn't it? Good evening, Mister Bond. I'm Victor, Victor Madagascar. Madagascar. Which I will reminds not kill me of you. I would torture you. I still have that song from the Madagascar soundtrack stuck in my head. Did you guys see that? You have a daughter. Uh, Northern European extraction. Is she on pluck? <laughs> okay. <laughs> that I'm was Catherine Hepburn. That, that was this, pretty good. Was, I'm on pluck. You need to stop. <laughs> you've got to stop now. Can you Harry do, Grant, <laughs> turn me on to pluck. Can you do, can you do Catherine Hepburn and um, Henry Kissinger's Love Child? <laughs> no, I thought you were going to ask me to do Catherine Hepburn in porn. <laughs> what's her Ron Mexico name? I'm actually Victor Madagascar. <laughs> Bram, Bram, what's Catherine Hepburn's Ron Mexico name? Can you get that for us? Thanks. Yeah, we're, we're waiting here. <laughs> we're busy. Bram. <laughs> we're very busy. I know I have a computer in front of me and everything, but I'm busy doing things. I have a computer like, uh, too, but they're still. What was I? Blocking uh, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm tweeting things. You're tweeting things? Yeah. You, do you find yourself doing that often? Um, yes. <laughs> I do find myself doing that often. Are you on Plurk? I, uh, Are I you on Plurk? I'm not freaking Plurking things you know, I, here. I, I, I'm tweeting. I, I, th- this is something that I imagine from Dragnet 68, right? You think that kid's on Plurk? <laughs> <laughs> Just give me the facts. <laughs> yeah, Sergeant Joe Friday. <laughs> 3.35 p.m. My partner, <laughs> Bill Gannon. Plurk. <laughs> Get the... Oh, I almost said a swear word. Oh, it's after hours. Okay. Yeah, 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 you're fine. We went to investigate a teenager. Plurking Mother out. Mother of He was, he was he alone. Was, no, I can't compose this He is, was alone this is actually, plurking in his bedroom. This is only funny if you're 44. Yeah. Oh. There it's the wrap-up music. Oh, G. Walter. Miss Burroughs kept getting kicked out of the chat room. That's where she is tonight. It's because her Twitter handle is too long. I don't even know oh. what chicken rolling is. Holly just joined us. Holly just joined us? Oh my god. She we, should try Plurk. We talked so long that Holly woke up. Has and Holly he, tried Plurk? Because it's really useful. Oh no. Holly, Holly did. She joined Plurk and then I made her feel guilty because I said, you're going to freaking join Plurk and you're not going to come join me on Twitter? Get rid of Plurk, baby. I get thought rid you of convinced it. her to join Twitter. Yes, I convinced her to get rid of Plurk and join Twitter. You deep plurked her. I did. I deep plurked my Holly. That's like an intervention. I don't see Holly. Where are you saying Holly's here? You, you streamer one four four. Oh, it's Holly. Hi, Holly. I love you, Holly. Good night, Holly. <laughs> we were gonna wrap up this show. <laughs> Thanks for joining us Holly. during the Ladies credits. And gentlemen. All these lovely people who joined us this evening. I want you all hold your hands out. And ask yourselves, have you given your life to Plurk? (laughs) Plurk is there for you. I actually heard that Barack Obama is joining Plurk as his next church. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) It'd be a better move. The the church of Plurk, where time goes to the left. Oh, Jesus. No more Plurk. Join Plurk. (laughs) That was terrible. That was really bad. (laughs) We don't even know who you were imitating. (laughs) Was that, was that Barack Obama? <laughs> that was Barack Obama. The music is over and we're still talking. It's the, it's Holly. She distracted Roll credits. us. Roll credits. Roll the credits. <laughs> Can you wave? Oh, oh, goodbye. Good night, everybody. Don't plurk. See you tomorrow. Don't plurk, in, don't plurk at all. Just don't. <laughs> Save yourself. Say no to plurk. Just say no. Save yourself plurk. from marriage. Don't plurk. <laughs> Good night, everybody. And just like that, it's over.